And here we are once again, live with Friday Night Tech Talk. Good evening, folks. Glad to have you here. And uh, I do this every Friday night. If this is your first time here, please subscribe and hit that notify button so you'll know whenever I upload a video. Uh, every Friday night, I have certain regulars that come in, and which I'm very grateful for, and we go over some of the uh, stories, some of the tech stories of the past week. So, Renz was the first one here tonight, rainy Saturday morning in the Philippines, I gather, and uh, I'm not sure he might be on his way to work, and Eleanor just got beat by a little bit. She was five minutes behind her. Of course, she wishes everybody a great weekend, as always. And Vince popped in just before we went live. So welcome, Vince. Always great to have you here, brother. And there's Annette popping in. Hey, Annette. So glad to have you all here. And for anybody who's not aware of it, you can follow the show notes and the articles that I'm covering from my website. So I'll share that screen. And if you go to mobilegeezer.wordpress.com, click on the first story with today's date. That'll give you tonight's rundown of the show notes. So while we're here, what we're going to go over tonight Congress just passed the Chips and Science Act, so hopefully there will be some chip makers building foundries in the U.S., we hope. And then we're going to talk a little bit about the Pixel 6a and is it better than the iPhone SE, because you know they're priced in the same range. And of course, everybody's starting to get their Pixel Buds Pro. I think mine was scheduled to be delivered Monday, but tracking them, I'm thinking mine may be delivered tomorrow. We'll see. I know they're in Chattanooga right now. So there's a lot of uh, videos, as many videos about the Pixel Buds Pro out there now as they're up at 6A. And then we're going to talk about net neutrality, which they're trying to bring back again, which I think is a good thing. And... And I'm going to have the nothing phone up against a two-year-old iPhone 11, camera-wise. And iPhone sales still going kind of okay, even though everybody else is uh, down a little bit on their earnings. And finally, remember I reported that Samsung was dumping the Exynos. A lot of people reported it, but it turns out they're not quite dumping it. They're just not using it right away. So we'll get to that. So back to the top. And of course, I'll watch for Michael, Will, or Ted to join in with us, you guys. I'll try to let you know if any of them drop in as soon as I see them. And there's Gary. Let's see what's Gary saying. He wants the Pixel Budge Pro, but I don't need them. Hello, everyone. So as always, he says, hi, everyone. Yeah, I got the, the Budge Pro, even though, well, I've never owned Pixel Buds ever. So my favorite Budge right now, well, let me stop the screen, are my Samsung Buds two, which are in my ears every Friday. I use these just about every day on my bike rides and everything. My next favorite pair are also my Samsung Buds Pro, which I had, you know, which came out before the Buds two came out. So for me, I'm going to be comparing my Pixel Buds Pro against these two, and I have a bunch of others, including the original uh, AirPods. So when I do an unboxing or whatever I'm going to do, maybe a first impressions, I'll show you that. So that should be around next week, maybe even Sunday. We'll see when I get them. So, but I'm kind of excited because, like I said, I've never had Pixel Buds Pro, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. So back to sharing my screen. I'm going to go with the first story. Okay, and this was on The Verge. 
Congress passes Chips and Science Act, paving the way for U.S. chip foundries. So I'm going to click on that story. And this was just from yesterday. Chips Act clears Congress, ensuring $52 billion boost to U.S. foundries. All that's left is Biden's signature, which I would think would come quickly because he wanted this as much as anybody else. This is something I think is good for all of us. Just my opinion. So let's go to read a view. And this is by uh, McKenna Kelly. Uh, it might get cheaper and easier to buy popular tech products like gaming consoles and graphics cards after Congress approved $52 billion in funding for domestic semiconductor manufacturing. In a 243 to 187 vote, which I guess is pretty good, on Thursday, the House passed the $280 billion Chips and Science Act to strengthen U.S. science and technology innovation. The bill, a Biden administration priority, includes $52 billion in subsidies to encourage chip manufacturers to build out semiconductor fabrication plants or FABs in the U.S. After months of negotiations between the House and Senate, Thursday's approval resolves the looming threat of chip makers reconsidering plans to build U.S. plants. Earlier this month, the groundbreaking ceremony for a $20 billion Intel foundry was delayed while the funding remained stalled. So maybe that'll go forward now, hopefully. Uh, the American people may not know it, but semiconductors are integral to their everyday experiences. Representative Frank Bologna Jr., Democrat in New Jersey, uh, said in Thursday floor statement, have the vote. Oh, yeah. And I said, Frank Polone. I'm from New Jersey. I was raised with more Italians than anybody else. So I tend to say Italians' names the way they're supposed to be said, not the way Americans say them. And that's Polone. Uh, there are microchips that are used in automobiles, consumer electronics, and washing machines. The coronavirus pandemic upended a wide variety of industries, but especially businesses that manufacture products that require semiconductor chips. Demand for tech products like laptops, consoles, and tablets skyrocketed as consumers grew accustomed to spending more time at home instead of at school or the office. The confluence of demand and pandemic-related supply chain disruptions spurred a global semiconductor shortage that hardware suppliers like NVIDIA and AMD are just now beginning to solve, to resolve, we hope. But the pandemic supply chain crisis inspired lawmakers, namely Senator Chuck Schumer, to craft a legislation to make it more feasible for chip makers to employ American workers and to build their products domestically. Over the last few decades, semiconductor plants have shipped factories and jobs overseas primarily to countries like China, to cut down on manufacturing and shipping costs. The Chips and Science Act is the Biden administration's bet to incentivize chip makers to reverse course and build fabs in the U.S. Uh, for decades, some experts said we needed to give up on manufacturing in America. I never believed that. Manufacturing jobs are back. President Joe Biden said in a statement on Wednesday, thanks to this bill, we're going to have even more of them. Uh, President Joe Biden has encouraged lawmakers to pass the measure, but it's unclear when he intends to sign it into law. Yeah, I mean, if he's the one who wanted it, why didn't he just sign it yesterday or today? Well, maybe he's out of the country, I don't know. Um, the Chips and Science Act is the final version of an innovation bill that's undergone numerous title and language changes since the concept was first introduced in 2019. The initial version of the bill was titled Endless Frontier Act and not to President Franklin D. Roosevelt. Last summer, the Senate approved a newer version of the bill, the U.S. Innovation and Competition Act. That stalled as House and Senate leaders negotiated changes. I guess this thing just keeps getting different names. Uh, but with pressure building due to a looming August recess and midterm election cycle, lawmakers revved up momentum to pass a smaller bill that chips in the science are good. That trimmed down some of the former packages. Ambitious bill included billions 
but included billions for domestic chip making. As the bill's passage grew more imminent, progressives became more bullish in their opposition to them. So it's the progressives that don't want it. Said. I don't think I understand politics all the time. In a statement earlier this month, Senator Bernie Sanders, a Vermont independent who caucuses with Democrats, criticized the bill for serving as a blank check for profitable semiconductor companies despite supporting the expansion of domestic microchip manufacturing. Well, you do have to get them to build factories in this country. Well, just my opinion. What do I know? Uh, there was no debate that the microchip and semiconductor shortage is a dire threat to our nation. Uh, Sanders said, what I cannot understand is why so many in Congress are so eager to pay this bribe. Probably because they're making money on it. That would be my guess. But if they're going to take money off something, at least this is something that'll do something for the rest of us. Uh, Sanders' statements chilled optimism that House Democrats could garner enough support to approve the bill. Well, obviously they did. It was unclear how many members of the House Congressional Progressive Caucus would vote hours ahead of the bill's passage. Outside of the CHIP subsidies, the bill provides the Commerce Department with $10 billion to award states and localities grants to build out regional technology hubs. We've already got that in Chattanooga. Across the country, the hubs would serve as mini Silicon Valleys as a means of bringing jobs and economic growth to areas hit hard by globalization. Globalization. The National Science Foundation is also set to receive billions in additional funding for semiconductor manufacturing, research, and workforce developing programs. I think I disagree with that, but as long as we get some foundry, I think we're in good shape. So hopefully in a couple of years, we'll won't have a shortage of chips. Let's see. Uh, Ren says, thanks, Eleanor. All right, there, now Renz is off to work. Gonna be bad here, Costa. Okay, so be safe, friends, and I guess we'll see you. I hope by the end of the show. So, nothing else to comment on. So let's continue on down the stories. Share screen again. And the next story, Pixel 6a, better than the iPhone SE 2022. So I found this story on Tom's Guide. So Google Pixel 6a just beat the iPhone SE. This is his, this guy's opinion. And Apple should be paying attention by Philip Michaels. Here's why the Pixel 6a is better than the iPhone SE 2022. So into reader mode we go. Okay. So he starts out telling you he's an iPhone guy. I'm an iPhone guy at heart, having used Apple's smartphone in one form or another since the days of the iPhone 3G. And for a long time, the iPhone SE has been my model of choice, thanks to its compact size and equally small price tag. I bought the original iPhone SE when that phone first came out, and I used it until its charging port gave up the ghost. A new model, the iPhone SE 2022, came out this spring. But if I was in the market for a phone right now, it wouldn't be my choice for a new device. And the $429 device certainly wouldn't be my pick for best cheap phone under $500. Instead, if I were looking to save money on a discounted phone, the one I turned to would be the newly unveiled Pixel 6a from Google. And boy, there's a lot of fighting back and forth about whether this is a good phone or not. Glad I'm not involved in it. Yo, BG, glad to have you here, brother. Thanks for dropping by. Uh, and I know he has that phone, so you should check out BG's channel. Okay, uh, that's not necessarily a knock on the iPhone SE, which is still a solid option for a lot of people, even with its flaws. Instead, my recommendation is more of a reflection of all the things Google got right with the Pixel 6a. 
Google simply packed more value into its sub $500 phone, showing Apple what it takes to build a more compelling budget device. Well, if Will was here, we'd be hearing it now. Um, as our Google Pixel 6a versus iPhone SE 2022 face-off reveals, choosing between those two phones boils down to the one that makes less of a distinction between a budget device and a flagship phone right now. That's the Pixel 6a. Well, that kind of makes sense. Uh, you wouldn't necessarily think that if you judged think that if you judged the phone by its surface. When I hold the Pixel 6a in one hand and the Pixel 6 in another, it's pre pretty easy to tell which one's the cheaper device, and not just because the Pixel 6a has a smaller screen. The plastic feel of the 6A is noticeably different than the glass back of the Pixel 6. It's very clear where Google saved the money to offer the Pixel 6A at such a low price. Speaking personally, though, I'm fine with a budget phone that feels like a budget phone if its more crucial features match what I'd get from a more expensive device. Very sensible man. In my experience, that's exactly what you get with the Pixel 6a. Apple attempts something similar with the iPhone SE 2022. After all, that phone runs, with, runs on the same A15 Bionic chipset found in the current iPhone 13 lineup. By the SE, the argument goes and you get the same world-beating performance as Apple's most expensive handsets and with 5G connectivity to boot. It's a compelling case for a phone. The problem is the iPhone SE shares few other attributes with the rest of the iPhone lineup. Its design is straight out 217. Well, that's true. With beefy be bezels that feel out of place in a world with edge-to-edge -edge screens. The iPhone SE continues to offer just one camera, and it's one with a night mode for better low-light photos. As with the Pixel 6a, you got to cut corners somewhere to offer a cheaper phone. But Apple is asking for a lot of trade-offs in exchange for the iPhone SE's lower price. What the Pixel 6a does right. Contrast that with what Google did with the Pixel 6a. <coughs> cheaper material aside, the new phone mirrors the distinctive look of the Pixel 6 that Google introduced last fall with a horizontal camera bar spanning the length of the phone's back. The Pixel 6a has an under-display fingerprint sensor, just like the Pixel 6. In fact, the 6a sensor is much more responsive. Even the front camera is in the same place on the phone's display. The Pixel 6 boasts a main camera with better resolution, 50 megapixels versus 12.2 megapixels for the Pixel 6's wide lens. And the Pixel 6 Pro throws in a telephoto lens to trump the Pixel 6a's dual camera setup. But the Pixel 6a still exploits Google's expertise with computation photography to pronounce some very nice looking pictures. So nice, in fact, that we think the Pixel 6a is the best camera phone under $500. It certainly topped the iPhone SE when we put the phones head to head. In the most significant similarity of all, the Pixel 6a features the same Tensor chipset Google used in the rest of the Pixel 6 lineup. That means all the machine learning fueled experience that Pixel 6 owners can enjoy, enjoy are also available for less on the Pixel 6a. Your sub $500 phone can screen phone calls, provide on the fly translation, and even give you one tap editing for removing photo bombers from your pictures. That's a pretty compelling set of features for a budget phone. Yes, it is. If there's a flaw to Google's approach, it's that the price difference between the $599 Pixel 6 and the $459 Pixel 6a isn't as great as the $250 gap between the iPhone XE and the iPhone 13 mini, the next cheapest iPhone with an 815 Bionic chipset. Rather than get a Pixel 6a, some shoppers may be tempted to pay up and get the Pixel 6. That's what I would do. And it's better camera and bigger screen. I'm sure Google will be crying all the way to the bank. The important point here is the different ways Apple and Google have approached their budget phones. 
<coughs> pardon me. Apple clearly wants more of a distinction between the iPhone SE and its flagship device. Google's clearly less concerned with that. That's certainly a business case. There's certainly a business case to, to be made for Apple's approach, but I know which phone delivers more value to would-be owners, and that's not the SE. So I think he makes very good arguments there. Something I was going to say, which I had totally forgotten about. <clears throat> Don't get old, folks. <laughs> All right, let's stop screen. Let's see, I said hello to BG. And nothing else new here. Anytime any of you want to comment, especially any of you new, new people, just put a comment in there. I'll certainly recognize it. Probably it'll probably cause a discussion of some type. So let me get a quick sip here. And yes, you can see through my glass because it's green and my screen is green behind me. Uh, let's see. All right, we're gonna go down. Our next story. And this one is on the Pixel Buds Pro. I'll bounce around a little bit in this one because this is a very long article. And I'm very excited to get mine, hopefully tomorrow. And I found this on Digital Trends. Um, I just said Pixel Buds Pro best buds for the price. And um, Phil Nicholson is now working for Digital Trends, and he did the video review, and he did a very good job. So if you get a chance, you should watch that. Okay, here's Digital Trends, but this was the review itself. It's by Simon Cohen, and it's from yesterday. Google Pixel Buds Pro review, shut up and take our money. I, I have heard very little but good things about the Buds Pro so far. So this one says it's pretty good too. <clears throat> pretty fair, but everybody seems to really, really think Google got it right this time. So I'm going into review to get rid of the ads. And there's what. It looked like that's the color that I ordered, lemongrass. Okay. And I know they got into Chattanooga this morning sometime. Uh, so pros, compact and comfy, very good sound quality, very effective ANC, transparency, wireless charging, Bluetooth multi -plunk. Cons, no real EQ adjustments. I think somebody else kind of said that too. I've watched a bunch of videos on this already. No high quality, low latency codecs. Still no iOS Pixel Buds app. To me, that wouldn't be a con. They're not iOS. That's just my opinion. Let's see. Look at these. Now, Brian's in here. Glad to have you here, brother, as always. He's saying, is the Google Assistant voice dedication? What's going on? You're six days asking you, uh, BG. Um, yeah, that'd be a real problem if it weren't. But I didn't get the 6A since I have the Pixel 6 Pro. I wasn't going to get that. And I'll be spending money on Samsung and Apple and Google in the next two months, so. I had to hold back. Drive safe, friends. Okay, what up, Gary? I'm in the same camp. I don't need them, but I heard the swipe gestures are dope. Yeah, I saw that too. I think that's mentioned in here too. Um, like I said, Phil, Phil Nicholson at Digital Trends did a pretty good uh, review of them. Okay, back to the story. I dis disagree with this third con, just my opinion. Maybe it's not fair to always view Google and Apple as locked into some kind of gadget deathmatch. That's true. But when it comes to wireless earbuds, comparisons are inevitable. 
And let's face it, Google has struggled to create a version of its Pixel Buds that can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Apple's AirPods Pro. I guess they must have this time because it seems like every reviewer mentions it going against the AirPods Pro. So it sounds like they may have nailed it. Who knows? Okay. Uh, but that struggle is over. Google's new Pixel Buds Pro are stylish, comfortable, and packed with the kinds of features Android fans have been asking for. The biggest addition being active noise cancellation. ANC. Well, of course, that's true. Just how good are they at 200 bucks, and do they deserve a spot among the best wireless earbuds? Let's check them out. And the general opinion overall seems to be, yes, they're worth every, every cent. Uh, Google Pixel Buds Pro oh, and, and are finally here, and they finally add active noise cancellation, and yes, they're exactly as good as you hoped. My phone's, my Google Assistant's trying to talk to me on the phone. See, that's, that was from Phil Nicholson's, I think, from his video review. Uh... What's in the box? Okay, hardly anything. You get the Pixel Buds Pro, already has in your charging case, a clever little cardboard tube, tube. Guess that, containing two extra sizes of silicone ear tips. You get three in total and a printed quick start guide. Expecting a charging cable, so was I, but the Pixel Buds Pro are the first wireless earbuds I've encountered that don't ship with one. Doesn't bother me, but you know, probably have said people. Uh, given that it's usually Apple that likes to dish hardware before people are really ready for them to do so, this was a surprise. On the other hand, you can charge the case wirelessly, and there's also a pretty good chance that if you're buying Pixel Buds Pro, you already has a phone that uses USB-C, so there's that. Yeah, I think more, probably most of us have both. <coughs> Design. Okay, there's the Pixel Buds Pro case. There's the A series case, a little chunkier, not much. Uh, viewed from the outside of the Buds Pro case, it doesn't look like much has changed since the now discontinued second gen Pixel Buds or their cheaper replacements, the $100 Pixel Buds A series here. It's the same matte finish egg like container with an angle flip top lid. And it'll pick up the same um, marring that all mats tend to pick up. That's probably very true. Look closely, and you can see it's actually a tiny bit wider than the previous case, but that makes no difference at all to how it feels in the hand or its pocketability. All of the significant changes are what's with what's inside. The Buds Pro look almost identical to their predecessors when you see them in someone's ears. <clears throat> but they use a very different shape on the interior surfaces. Gone are the built-in stabilizer arcs, those, uh, those little rubber stems in the Pixel Buds Gen 2A series that provided sec a secure anchor. They're replaced by a larger overall body that makes greater contact with the inside of your ear that provides for a decidedly different feel, which we'll get into in a minute. And I've seen three or four videos already that seem to <coughs> say that even without that little anchor, these are more solid in your ear. So let's hope that's true, because that's one of the reasons why I wear my uh, Samsung Buds too. <coughs> Pardon me. Let me take a little drink here. And here's one with the Pixel Buds Pro along the AirPods Pro. Uh, but those arcs had another benefit. They made it super easy to pluck the buds from the charging case. With the Buds Pro, it's harder to grab them between your thumb and forefinger, but you quickly realize that putting a finger behind them near the lid and prying forward works every time. Once they're in your ear, however, all differences in design go away. The Pixel Buds Pro are very low profile. For me, they sit almost totally flush to my outer ear. And though the outer surface is now interrupted by two microphone vents, 
the touch sensing controls work exactly the same way. <clears throat> More on that in a moment. Let me see. Dush, good, good to have you here, brother. He says he's been looking at the pixel buds all day. He got the itch. Yeah, mine, mine, I hope are coming tomorrow. If not, I guess Monday, but uh, I'm all excited about them. Okay. Google has an IPX4 rating on the earbuds and even added a small amount of protection for the case itself, IPX2. That's good. Which is a nice uh, added touch in case the case is to be hit by spraying water. In the U.S., you can buy them in one of four colors. Fog, light gray with a tinge of blue charcoal, not quite black lemongrass, which is what I got, Gatorade, yellow green, and coral, reddish orange, which is what you keep seeing here. Uh, you'll see lemongrass and coral in this review. <coughs> As an evolution of the Pixel Buds design, the Buds Pro are a total success, keeping virtually everything we like. So I'm not going to read every little thing, but here they start comparing them a little bit. So let's see. Uh, because of the larger body and the way it makes contact with your concha, the outer part of your ear, <coughs> you may find that your ears feel fuller. But I found no, no real difference in terms of wearability. The Buds Pro feel great, and they compare well to the $200 Jabber Elite 7 Pro or the AirPods Pro. At 0.22 ounces, they're easily identical in weight to the original Gen 2 Buds at 0.20 ounces. Uh, speaking of jobbers and AirPods, Google has mimicked these earbuds by adding its own version of a fit test to the Pixel Buds app, which helps you to know if you actually pick the best of the three sizes of ear tips for performance as well as comfort. That's good because that's usually <laughs> my biggest issue finding the right tip with the right size especially since my ears are two different sizes okay let's go down a little more okay talk about venting the pixel buds per also vented but it's a new design according to google sensors actively measure the pressure in your ear canal so the earbuds can relieve it and stay comfortable. That sounds pretty good. Stability-wise, they're very secure. For light exercise, they won't budge at all. And even when you start doing higher impact work, they're decent for a set of non-hook style buds. As with most wireless earbuds, talking for five minutes or more will start to work them loose. Well, that makes sense. Brian, thank you as always, brother. Always appreciate you. Uh, and you know me, I'll be using them on my bicycle rides for the most part, especially when, when it's in the 90s, we'll see how well they stick. But my uh, Samsung Buds too, they stick like glue. Uh, if given a choice between touch and physical controls, I tend to pick the physical ones <coughs> for their superior precision and tactile feedback. But I have no complaints about the Pixel Buds Pro. Taps on the touch surface register almost every time. See, he says almost every time. I guess we've kind of all accepted that it's not going to happen every time. And that's probably true with any earbuds. <coughs> and you get a confirmation tone to let you know it's working good. One tone for each tap. It's a lot more reliable than a Samsung Galaxy Buds Pro, which I have right, right here. But I think that's why I ended up picking the Buds 2 over the Buds Pro. All right, don't have to read all of this. Uh, we know I think we know about the play pause and all that good stuff. Okay, there's no way to customize these gestures as you can on the Jabra Elite 7 Pro. But because they're intuitive, it makes them easy to memorize. You can, however, adjust the long press function a little on your Android. So you can add off to the ANC on in transparency modes, and you can opt to have that work from both earbuds or split left, right. That's pretty cool between it and Google Assistant. 
On Android phones, pairing the Buds Pro is as simple as unlocking your phone and flipping open the lid, which immediately triggers Google Fast Pair feature, giving you a one-tap way of setting up good. Uh, better yet, Google has improved its Fast Pair system with new audio switching with a new audio switching feature that lets you associate the Pixel Buds Pro with all of your signed-in Android devices. These devices are then given prioritized access to the Bud. A phone call on a device A can interrupt the movie playing on device E, for instance, when a test message from device A would not. Yeah, it's much like today I had two Samsung phones with me and my Samsung Buds. So when I got a phone call on the one that I didn't have on Bluetooth, it just switched automatically, which is, I guess this will do the same thing. Uh, for the first time, a set of Pixel Buds supports Bluetooth multipoint. So even if you're not using audio switching to jump back and forth between signed and Android devices, you can maintain a simultaneous connection to any two Bluetooth devices. It works great between Android devices, as well as a mixed marriage between Android and iOS. So obviously it doesn't work quite as well as with iOS, which I'll be finding out. Okay, so sound quality. Pixel Buds Pro are the best sounding Pixel Buds so far, and I think they beat the more expensive AirPods Pro for overall fidelity. Even though Google reduced the size of the drivers from 12 millimeters to the, on the A-series to 11 millimeters for the Pro, the better passive noise isolation and excellent ANC come together to finally let you hear the full potential of these Buds 100% of the time. Cool. I've always admired how Chris and clear the A-series are. In a quiet situation, you can appreciate their decent bass performance, too, even when using the bass boost feature. But the moment you step outside, the A-series open design allows that low end to get washed away. The Buds Pro are effect effectively a closed-back version of the Gen 2 A-series, and they do what closed-back designs do best, let you hear the full range of their performance no matter where you're listening good. Okay, I'm not going to read all of this. Okay, noise cancellation. Let's talk about that a little bit. As Google's first wireless earbuds with ANC, it did a great job with the Pixel Buds Pro. Uh, when ANC mode is engaged, it provides excellent dampening of everything but the highest of frequencies. Right now, as I type, I have a fan below my desk keeping me cool during this intense summer heat. But other than feeling the air across my ankles, I have almost no awareness of it at all. Other noises like traffic or the din of construction are also well contained. That's good. Um, the Buds Pro don't cut out quite as much high frequency sound as the AirPods Pro, however, and their wind protection isn't as strong. On a breezy day or while cycling or running, some wind sound will get picked up by the ANC system. Well, I'll find out soon. Uh, this is not uncommon. No, it's not. Uh, even on products that are on this second or third generation of ANC tech, like the mighty Sony WF-1000XM4. But it's still worth being aware of. Yeah, I know on the bicycle, cycle, I'm just used to it. But, you know, when I start getting up around 16 miles an hour on the bicycle, I start to hear some wind. Doesn't matter what buzz I have on. Uh, if wind noise is something you think you'll have to cope with, consider the AirPods Pro or Jabra Elite 7 Pro. They're both superb in the wind. Uh, the only other note about ANC performance is that if you engage when there's literally no noise for the earbuds to cancel, you may notice a very slight background hiss. If that happens, that's a good cue to turn off active noise canceling, which you can do in the Pixel Buds app or using touch controls. Okay, so I'm not going to go through any more of this. Got good battery life, I gather. So let's go to the uh, overall. Android fans wishing they had true AirPods Pro alternative will be thrilled with the Pixel Buds Pro. They're comfortable, sound great, and have everything they need to become your go-to earbuds for work, play, and everything in between. 
But speaking of the AirPods Pro, these buds are now three years old. And if the rumors are true, Apple will be updating them in 2023. That's still a ways away. If and when that happens, it's quite possible they'll launch with a slew of features that will set a new bar for wireless audio, putting Google once again on the back foot. But for now, the Pixel Buds Pro are definitely having a moment. Good. At this price, there are a lot of fantastic choices in wireless earbuds, but the one model that prospective Pixel Buds Pro buyers should consider is Jabra's excellent $200 Elite 7 Pro. Yes, yeah, same price. <clears throat> anyway, that's all I'm going to go through with that, but uh, sounds like I might be pretty happy with these when mine show up, so I'll certainly let you guys know about it when they do. Uh, Gary says, if Google would let me trade in my Buds 2 or Buds A, I would have the Buds Pro. Yeah, I understand if they would, I would have certainly traded in the Buds Pro. I'm never, probably never going to trade in the Buds 2 because I wear them like every day. But yeah, the Buds Pro I could. But next to the Buds 2, they're my next favorite. But the Buds 2 are just too good sounding and stick to my ears way too well. So those are the two main ones I'll be comparing my Buds Pro against. Oh, good. You know what that means, folks? Trouble is on the way. And there he is. So I'm going to give you a little bit of music, man. Yeah, we got trouble. We got trouble right here in River City with a capital T, and that rise with P, and that stands for poor. And Mike is here. Glad to have you here. <laughs> hey, let me. Uh, I'm. I'm. I, I. I'm not my normal setup. I. I change again. Oh, can everybody hear me? Can oh, everybody hear, hear me? See me well. Hear you yeah. better than most. Most weeks. Okay. Uh, I hear the fan, and I'm like been the last five minutes fighting back and forth. Like, is it good? Is it bad? I don't know. So if the fan's overtaken, tell pe people. Tell me what what. You know, let me know. I'll, I'll, I can kill it. But. but you should be hearing people from all over the world because you have fans all over the world. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, I should have seen that coming. I should have seen true. that coming. It's Brian's comment. Uh, you loud. Yeah, you, you, you are louder than most weeks, but perfect. Okay, in, hold in on. A, in a very good way. No, don't oh, I gotta, up. No, in a good no, 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 no. I, I'm, I'm, I'm turning, I guess, I'm, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Is this? I think you should just headphones. stay the way you are. Don't. Uh, don't oh, I'm never going to change. You. I'm never going to change, George. Never. Okay. No, uh, well, when you first came on, you said, I don't feel like, and I thought you were going to say your normal self. And I'm like, we're not normal, Mike. I mean, that's what I'm No. <laughs> no, we're far from normal. We're far from normal. How are you doing, George? How's How are you doing? How's everybody out there doing today? I'm doing well. Elmo's doing pretty well. She had a better day at work today than she had yesterday, so I was happy about that. With Eleanor's job, I have to pray for her to have a good day every day because it's so physical. <laughs> but she chose it. You know, she likes working and receiving, but there's a price to pay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It really so is, Brian, Eleanor, is is Eleanor in, in here? Uh she she was the second one at Ren's beat her today. But she wasn't yeah. here. I'm not sure if she still is. She's got to work tomorrow, so she may have gone to bed already. My See, brother's here. Eleanor has to be to work at 7 a.m. She gets mm -hmm. up at like 3 o'clock in the morning. Why? Mm. She has to be up four hours early, but she does. She gets to work 40 to 45 minutes before she has to be there always. That's her. Mm. So, so well, you said Carol's you know. here? No, uh, my brother's here. He's uh, I see Adam. He's, Yo, Adam. Yeah. Good to have you here, brother. He, he, uh, he says, I love oh, the, oh, he uh, likes the your invisible cup. Yeah. And yeah it must be green. You can, see, you can see the screen through me, through the chair, through everything. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so what's good see, with you? Oh, Don's here. So now we've got Oklahoma represented. That's good. Got Jersey represented, Philippines represented, California represented. We're doing good here. Uh, BGC, we've got Baltimore represented. Okay, okay. All right. Oh, Brian, I don't even. Brian, I don't even know. Are you in New York, or did I just Who? forget? Uh, Brian, yeah, I think Brian's in like New York City. Okay. Correct yeah. me if I'm wrong, Brian. Yeah, I think that's true. I think that's mm -hmm. 
I didn't even tell. I didn't even get a chance to post it on Twitter. So I don't know if you anybody out there, you know, share it out there on the Twitter Twitters. Oh, okay. Uh, Don Don says Mike so. is a destructor with a great hookup. I hear. There you go. Bad, oh, let's see, uh, Gary says here the six A pre order was great. My cousin traded his Pixel Four and got three hundred dollars and paid one hundred and seventy awesome. for the phone and, and the Buds uh, A. The Buds a. Because they were throwing the you, Buds A if you pre-ordered, that's true. But yeah, the, the I have the Pixel Buds A, and they are for me mm-hmm. the go-to. They're they're it. They're well, just everything so I'm easy hearing to about use. the Pro is is that they have topped the A by a lot. Every single video mm-hmm. I watch says that. Yeah. But but the um, the I mean I don't know. It just seems sound, uh, audio quality is really good. The ease to tap is really right. easy, and right. it's the only earbuds I've had that actually fit my ear okay. without even change. I know there's, you know, different uh, the tips. What's those little? The, yeah, the tips. Mm-hmm. So uh, again, I'm I'm going to take this chance. Beans, I'm here, George. Yeah. If you don't mind, I do have a car vlog. I am running. I my whole goal was I- get done work. Get yeah, home. I was looking for it. Eight, eight, eight. Yeah, eat, eat my dinner. I, I, uh, it's, it's here. It's in this phone. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I uploaded it yet. So, okay. so when I'm done here, I gotta clean it up, do a few things, and and get it out there. So, um, okay. well, here's Don's uh, comment. Hey guys, mm-hmm. my take on the six A, my A fifty two five G, which he bought for me, is a twenty twenty one device, smooth A twelve. 120 hertz, 450 brand new. Why would I want one? He he loves his A52. I know that. A52 is a solid phone. We yeah. thank God we got somebody in our in our IT department that stopped ordering the junky, you know, AO3s or AO2s and A12s. Yeah, the, they, they, they were. Yeah, I mean, just, I, I I support Serrano with his AO2, but. There's oh, no oh God, no. That, yeah. There's no oh, way no. in the world I'd ever buy an AO2. Right. Well, <laughs> Serrano, man, he's a monster. He'll he'll get every phone that he could. And, and, yes. and you know what? To his credit, he will show you everything you can do yes. on that phone, uh, different tricks and different things. And, 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 yeah, he and, comes up with tips and tricks. That's like 30 and, things. Yeah, I mean, he, you know, <laughs> and, and good, good for him. But uh, but as far as like a recommendation, no. Nah. No, nah, yeah, the, the, the A52 Serrano, without hands down. Yeah, Serrano does his channel for the people, you know, to help people to afford. He finds some interesting stuff. He finds some interesting phones to, to check out too. So yeah, uh, you know, uh, here we go. Uh, I'll give you. I think I can call this breaking news. Boop 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 boop. Breaking news. Put, should I add this in? Did you I just don't know. Put you, it? Oh, you did it last time. You did something last time. You had like it was like blaring in the ears of play. It was perfect for it, though. It does. This doesn't work here. What's that? That's got to be Will, isn't it? It's got to be. Will. Is that you, Will? What's Will going turn- on, y'all? Uh, I knew it had to be Will. Oh, uh, the real disruptor is in the room. The true, <laughs> true. I'm just. I'm just a sort of a disruptor. The real disruptor is in the room, folks. Okay. Oh man! Glad you're here, is... brother. Are you, are you at work? No, you're not at work, are you? No, I'm not. No, working. He's... I'm not working. Oh my goodness gracious! For <laughs> yeah, for once. So don't wait, forget wait, to you see say your you... face. We we don't see his ugly mug. Yeah, hold on, hold on. I'll be on there. Okay. <laughs> How much longer <laughs> y'all got? I don't know. Oh, okay. We got a while yet. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, I still have four stories I haven't done. Hmm. <laughs> um, I was just going to announce. It, it breaks my heart. The S10 just sold about an hour ago. Oh, you sold it! I, 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 George, you just trust me. It, it, it's been, it's been difficult. It's been difficult. I, but I, I need the money for it for for to do different. I want to get okay. there's some phones in my mind I want to look into getting and uh yeah okay 
Oh, Brian yeah. is worried about Will's getting enough sleep for work because he's got what two days of work straight. So. Well, but nice oh, that he cares. Tomorrow. That's good. That's tomorrow. Yeah. 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 I can't keep up anymore with him. He, he's. I don't know. Not to, but I know he's got another job. He t he was telling me, and he's got the the weekend job. He's a workaholic, and he's got little, and he's got little kids. Yeah, I know. I know. Ma amazing guy. Yes. Yes. So. Right, so he he left he left out of here. Hopefully he'll be back. So so George, <laughs> you know, you in my last vlog I was talking about my friend Joe. Right. He's we're gonna we're gonna do it on Sunday. He's about he to lose actually, his three. Okay. Okay. He's gonna get a pixel. He's going to get a Pixel phone. <clears throat> this is going to be, this is going to be, uh, this is going to be epic. Uh, Brian wants right, to know how much yeah. did I get for it. I think what's in my PayPal account was like one hundred and fifty nine dollars. You know, and I will admit, you know, Swappa, it, it, it. That's the only thing you take in consideration is that Swappa. Is man, a, that's a heck of a bargain for an S. The S ten was a great phone. And they're getting a great phone as far as like condition. This thing's lived in a case from day one. Yeah. Um, you know, it, it, the only Achilles heel is when you really hammer it, when you really are using it, the battery is not is not the best. But overall, you know, my brother really got me turned on. He mentioned in one of my videos, I, I one of my vlogs, he said, man, that is, that, the audio is crisp. You know, the camera was great. It was, he yeah, was going camera, on. And, and was great I... On that. I tinkered around with some of the settings and turned them up. I don't know. I turned them from 60 to, I mean, I'm sorry, from 30 to 60. Right. And, and I didn't do 4k. I didn't want to, I didn't want to do 4k, but I, I think I, that I, outside of going to 4k, that's what some of the things I did. Yo, big house. And Yo, big, big house. house Good to here. have you here, brother. So if you, if you, you missed a big news from us, Second ago, Mike finally sold his S10. Just sold it. <laughs> so, yeah, here, it's on its well way out. It. It's on its way. That, yes, that, it is. That, that was one of my favorite phones. I traded it to get my S20, but I love that phone. You had the E. You had the small one. I had the or did you have a? No, yeah, no, the SNE. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and I mean, an Android 12 on this thing is really, really. I mean, just overall, just. Overall performance is really good. Right. And I mean, this puts me in a spot. I was toying with the thought of actually moving this phone back over as my work phone. So, okay. but uh, between that, I got one more phone to sell. I'm not making a big money. I, I just, what phones, it's just, what phones are you keeping? I have my Pixel and my, uh, uh, my iPhone, the SE. Right. the SE, and my Flip. At the moment, okay. but but uh, at the moment, I, I, I don't see how you could sell that. I, I'll never sell mine. That's what's that? The what the, the flip? flip? Oh, no, 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 yeah. It's funny you mention that. So, so Will comes to me and he says, Hey, I got somebody interested, you're interested in, in the flip. So, I threw a price, I said 700 just to see. And the guy told me I was crazy. I go, What do you mean? And I, and I, this is how much I'm not in touch with what goes on. You know that flip is under five hundred dollars now on Swappa. Is it really? Wow. I mean, it's like it's it, there's a few five hundred dollars in there, but there's a lot of fours, like four eighty, four seventy, four ninety. But still, it's okay, just well, seeing that that number. I'm like, then, oh god. To me, it's a great, great device. I, you know, I'm quite happy with it. But you know, let me just, it, I just have to say this is, and a, and a coworker, he's he's a little ner he's a little nerdy with phones. He right. broke out of his Note Note Nine, and then he has an uh, S twenty two, no twenty one. I think he has S twenty one Ultra, and he brought yeah, both of right them. And he said, "Look at the screens," and he says, "I looked at the settings. The settings were identical. The picture was identical, and the the Note Nine picture blew it away." And then, then just as a comparison, this phone screen was better than. Than the uh, the the twenty one, and then comparing the screens on my flip is is like yeah, it, there is a difference. The quality of, of of the screens, I think they they toned it down. I really do. Right. They probably so. Do. Hey, Rez, how you doing? Hey, listen, I mean, you know, Rez, 
you know about Russ being in the Philippines, right, George? And, he and, lives and, in he, had, and he had a, a lot of rain to get to work. And he was the first one in here tonight. So he, I'm glad you Yeah, I mean, and then they had that earthquake, which is, to me, I don't well, Have yeah, you ever we, experienced we an earthquake, George? No, uh, bad hurricanes, but never an earthquake. Don't want no, to. No, yeah, it's it's the it's the weirdest sensation. I mean, I we had one here in Jersey about I don't know twelve years ago, and you just doing this. I mean, I, I know. I I remember when it was in the news. Yeah. Yeah, you know, you know and then I'm looking and at. Was the it just twelve years ago? Or was it more like sixteen, seventeen? No, it was like 2010. I was working at my first forklift job. Okay. And and, and I'm I'm sitting at my desk. Then. And I'm yeah I'm doing I'm, and all of a sudden I'm watching the fake plant doing this. Okay. Thinking, well, what yeah. in the heck is going on? And you hear rumbling. You know, it's it was it was yeah. The sad so. thing is in California that's just normal for them. I don't mm -hmm. want to live any place where that's normal for me. That's just no normal. yeah no, that's the shouldn't be yeah you're right you're right so yeah I've never seen an earthquake I felt an earthquake and I've never seen a tornado. Don't ever mm. want to experience either. I've had lots yeah, of uh, hurricanes living in Orlando. Of course, we had the four hurricanes in a row in September of 04. Mm -hmm. And we had to replace our fence and our roof. But other than that, it was okay. And I've, uh, see, the toughest things I've done is that and jump out of an airplane. Other than that, those are the two most dangerous <laughs> things I've ever done. You jumped out of an airplane? Twice. Yeah? Yeah, sky down, yeah. Yeah, if it's if it's I I like anything that's up in the air, anything. Now, and now I love flying, not nowadays because of the rules. But if you give me a choice between driving somewhere, say it's going to take me two days to drive there, or flying, I'll probably take the driving because I still yeah you you're flying. you're a driver. You're just straight exactly. up a driver anyway. So, yeah. and I have flown a plane on my own once. That that so, was. So so let me get straight. To me, about ten years ago, you jumped out of a perfectly working airplane. Is that what you're trying to tell me? Twice, yeah. Two different <laughs> types of planes, too. <laughs> <laughs> if it's if it's got a kick, I'll probably there's certain things I won't do, like mm -hmm. uh, bungee jump. I, mm -hmm. I won't do that. Period. <laughs> but jumping out of an airplane, that's not a big problem for me. And my my other kick is my motorcycle. Mm -hmm. No, I don't speed. I mean, it's it's that that's the best of both worlds. You're driving, but yet you're out in the open, yeah, and you know it's just exactly. it's just a different experience. Yes, definitely. Yeah, my best motorcycle ride so far was Orlando to New York State and back in yeah. in about a five day period. So, so, so George, let, uh, let me let me start the start as they say start the conversation. What do you think all this bruja over the sixty hertz and 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 the? Oh, uh, you know, this this I I said to uh, I said to uh, Juan Bagnell like in the comments I said it's nice to hear some got somebody give a nice honest review. I'm so tired of the hate and the back and forth. And I'm like, oh, how did this stupidity get started? Mm-hmm. You know? I and of I, I'm I know. Not getting it, but. But still, it's you know. I didn't expect this. No, come on, George. You had to expect something. Somebody would have found something with, with it, but, you know. It's it's like every day, and some, some, oh, mm -hmm. it's terrible. No, it's, and, and it's did you see Ted? I think Ted, I think Ted posted like a few, like almost a week ago. He posted something about how how does you know like a certain keywords on Twitter is the block, and one of them was sixty hertz. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, I saw. That. Yeah, I saw that. you know, and and, and it's you know, true. Like, but when did sixty hertz become so terrible? All right, so it's a budget phone. You know, yeah, come on. He, I I don't know, I don't know. I wish to. I mean, I I'm gonna say it because Will isn't here. Will is claiming that that the A series that they slow down over time. Is there any truth in that? Uh, my A fifty two. I. Th Think. No, 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 no. A, A, no. A, uh, Pixel well, A's. The, you know, the 5A, 4A, 3A. For me, none of them ever slowed down. Now, the 5A has a bad overheating issue, and Will's in mm -hmm. here. There you yeah, are. here he is. We yes! Yes! Oh, I tell you. Will, adjust your camera, because all you see is your forehead. 
No there we go. Hey, there's that smiling face of his. What's up, Mike? Yo. Whenever we see your smiling face. Yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think you said you were here, George. I think that was the last time I was Yo, here. yo. What do you, dude, what's with this, you know, what's this Mickey Mouse? I can barely hear you. Uh, is that well, what is that? Uh, you know, hey, well, he let him get his sound good one night, and now he, now you're Mickey. You know, okay. you know, come <laughs> on. Well, oh, you, oh, now he's got the earbud in. You know, the whatever those white things in his ear. You know, it's, it's a eerie feeling. Our, our pixel buds are on oh, the way. Yeah. Oh yeah, mine too. I'm, I'm excited. Mine, mine's wait a minute. in Chattanooga as of this morning. I just haven't seen when they're going to. No, I didn't buy the pixel wait buds. Wait, wait. I'm just playing. <laughs> Oh, I did. I was going to say what? No, I, didn't no. I thought you might. No, nah, you wouldn't have a Google uh, Google nah, in your house. I don't no. have no Google. Yeah, I don't have nothing Google to 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 make it make sense. I would lose, you know, Siri. How great she is, and you know, <laughs> <laughs> I would lose all of Siri's capabilities. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the wonderfulness that is Siri, you know. Oh, I did man. see the, the review. Um, somebody reviewed them. They said they were all right. Every, all right. I have seen nothing but good reviews, and I've watched but at least five or six. The problem for me with the Pixel Buds was always the fit. These ones don't have that fin, but that mm -hmm. used to Yeah, I, I've never like, had a pair of Pixels, so that's one reason. They used to I'm irritate me after a while. They used to irritate okay. me. Like, I'm back the, on the, the AirPods, AirPods 2. Cause these fit so good, like I can wear these for hours. Yeah, and that's what they're saying about they're saying without the hook, uh, uh -huh. the way these the way these pros are made, they fit mm -hmm. in your ear just perfectly. I gather. So. Yeah, so I'm probably gonna have to find something else because Apple the threes don't fit like these do. Right, Adams. So. Adams got a Siri remark. Mm -hmm. Oh, Adam, Adam, what's going on, Adam? One thing I know of Siri is Christina telling it she wasn't trying to talk to it at least twice <laughs> yeah. a night. Okay. I use it like a couple times a week. That's it. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't I don't I don't use Siri at all because I just don't like Siri. But the only time Siri. I use it was when I got it plugged in for CarPlay and, and say give it a command. Siri is good for That's, like well, I do the same I thing for Google Assistant stuff. too. Nothing, nothing like complex. It's got to be like a simple task. You know, then it yeah, I, wow. I use Google. I use Google and Alexa what, for what, everything. George? Mostly what, Google. I see a big house. He said, "Hey, Mike, I'm finally getting rid of his Moto Edge and trade in for the six A for his wife. Three hundred dollars. Holy moly! Three hundred dollar trading value. Wow. Here's my, here's my Moto That's good Edge though, because then what's I'm he paying for the six A? Like one fifty. Well, right. you, you, yeah, you got some the four hundred. You got the three hundred for the four. I think that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good. That's that's <laughs> Mike. That's almost as much as the flip. <laughs> I know. Yeah, right now, yeah. I know. Okay. I know. My you brother has another comment. I, he's he's right. Um, I'm just uh, I'm still going over. I just seen a new um flip. I think they sent me. Was it an article? They said there's going to be like 70 colors for the new one or something like that. The flip four. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. Was that that B? B what well, starts with the B? What's that? B? Not the, what, the bespoke, whatever. Bespoke, I thought. Yeah, that's yeah. what they're doing. They said it's going to be like 70 colors. I'm, and, and getting back to George, George, George looks frozen. George, okay, I was buffering. I was buffering for a minute. That hasn't happened in months. Because Will came here and brought the uh, the bad juju from, from whatever his he, co cable he, company is. Okay, he, he's Comcast. Will. Don't say that. Listen, Com I, yeah, we both use on I'm Comcast, aren't you? Am I buffering yet? Because I dropped my speed so low. Yeah, Comcast I'm not. I, I'm not on Comcast when I'm broadcasting because I I I, I uh, go off one of my phones, so I'm just going straight off T-Mobile. So I'm not on Comcast. Are you hot spotting? You're doing your show I, on a hot spot? I hot spot every around? single week. For What's up, big house? Wow. <laughs> that's <laughs> impressive. It's better than, than worrying about nah, Adam, That ain't mine. That's just for parties. I don't even drink. <laughs> hey, yeah, there we go. There we go. Oh, there goes his 50 Jack. cents Comcast. That's, that's Jack Daniels. That's my favorite. Yeah, yeah. yeah I know. I know. He's, See, he's look, made look. here in Tennessee. 
look, look, you know, MKBHD had the boxes of Cheerios in the background. You know, Will's right, starting a new that's one. Right. Okay. Cheerios. Yeah, oh, yeah in his oh, early yeah. days when he was at his dorm. He was with the college of Stevens Tech in Hoboken. Uh, uh, Second best technical college in the country or third? Something like that. So, so Will, I sold my S10. Your S- Why'd you sell that one? For just, what? just before we got on, he sold it too. I sold, I just, I just sold that. We yeah. just had a conversation about Swapper, Mike. I I had it on air. I don't know. You know, the thing with Swappa is it's so easy to it's so easy and I feel I don't know, I've yet to be screwed in that sense, like we were talking about. It, it is for the buyer. You did it to me again. My musician's mind, you know that, right? You said it's oh, no, so easy what in now? my mind with it's so easy to fall in love. You know me. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I, I, I yeah, I think it's terrible. That, I just love the S10, so I just think it's terrible that you sold it. That's just me, though. Look at, I mean, that's just dust. I mean, see about the only area that had. Oh, cedar. Renz is not familiar with your schedule. He's asking, no work today, yeah. Will. Yeah, no, nah, no work today. Now, are you off? Did you say you're off next this this yeah. coming week? Next, off this well, no, I'm not really, I'm not really off. So this is what happened. Like you know, I told you my sister is the what's the name at the job. So she called me yesterday, told me to come in at three tomorrow instead of seven. So I'm going in at three, three to eleven, oh, eleven to seven, Saturday, Sunday, and then next week, Mike is what you're talking about. I'm off. I'm not doing new no, nothing next week. Wow. And then mm-hmm. until Saturday and Sunday, and then I go back to the other place. The following so your week. kids will be looking forward to next week. Yeah, we're going to um American Dream, that big mall with the Nickelodeon Park and the water park. And oh, the ice cream. oh, then, is that the one up in North Jersey by this giant yeah. stadium? Yeah. Oh yeah, I I read about it. Uh, just you know, you know what's funny, right where that American Dream is. Uh-huh. For about three years running, every Friday night, I played tennis in a club for free. And that club was right where that mall is. Because my best friend in the club was a bar, <laughs> was a, was a bar maid. And she let me and three of my friends play, play tennis every Friday night for free. Matter of fact, yeah. I, my birthday hit on a Friday night one yeah. Now, keep in mind, I was going there with, with Rita. She was with me every week. So my birthday hit. The barmaid gives me eight Long Island iced teas in a row. Eight. Wow. Whew. That, that was the only time I ever left there and let Rita drive home. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I've never had one, so I don't even. I don't know what the. What the oh, you never had a Long Island iced tea? Nah, I don't drink. Oh, okay. Yeah, it, mm. it's kind of strong, but it, the pro- problem with it, it it gets tasty, and then you think it's not hitting you, and then you get, drink two or three, and you go mm-hmm. outside, and bam! For most people, yeah, you go, they, yeah. Yeah, you'd be tore up. Yep. All right. Are we gonna go? go? We're up to the net neutrality story. <laughs> net neutrality. Let me see. Yeah. Here we go. There you are. So we'll see who wants it. Let me know who wants it. Oh, Tech. I always um, forget you do it different now. There. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, well, you could pull it up and put it up on the thing, right? Yeah, yeah. I just let me yeah. know. You want who who's reading it? Oh, go ahead, I gotta go get it. it. I gotta find how it. You, I forget how to even do it. How do you do it again? <laughs> I, 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 just a, I just shared a screen. You go ahead and start whenever you want. And you don't have to read the whole thing. You can jump around if you feel hold like on, it. Let me, so, hold on. Let me see. Mobile. Hold on. I got to go to your page. I okay. Mobile bees are at work. Uh, you, want, you want me to um, start? Yeah, Gary, ahead, doesn't drink, start. Gary doesn't drink either. Interesting to, to learn this stuff. I didn't know that. Okay. Who doesn't drink? Gary. Oh. Gary, you mean you're that crazy naturally? Well, I can't say anything, so am I. So am I so. Yeah, this is coming from a guy who jumped out of a perfectly working airplane twice, you know? And politics. 
true. Uh, let's see here. Con- uh, Congressional Democrats introduce net neutrality bill. Uh, Senate and House Democrats introduce a bill to reinstate Obama era net neutrality rules and, and to give the FCC authority over broadband networks. Democrats on the Capitol Hill on Thursday introduced a less legislation legislation <laughs> that could restore net neutrality and the authority to the federal communications to regulate broadband. With uh, with President Joe Biden picked to be the f- pick to be the fifth commissioner at the FCC stalled to. Senate Democrats introduce the Net Neutrality and Broadband Justice Act, which could codify, 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 uh, codify uh, Obama era neutrality, uh, net neutrality rules re- repealed under President Donald Trump's administration. The renewed effort to pass a federal net neutrality law is led in the Senate with Senator Edward J. Markey from Massachusetts and Ron Wendell from Oregon, according to a press release, both on uh, both by Markey's office Thursday and Representative Doris Matsu. No, Matsui. Matsui. Consulte. Uh, the the Democrat <laughs> from uh, California is introducing a companion legislation in the House. Uh, let's. Uh, legislation, I cannot say it tonight, and I'm not drinking, uh, would, would <laughs> reestablish the FCC authority over broadband infrastructure by reclassifying internet services as a telecommunication service. What is it now? Uh, what is it marked now? It's not a telecommunication service. I can't no? remember what it's considered. It's just a, a provider. But providers right now are not mm-hmm. considered telecommunications. And of course they are, so why not make yeah. them telecommunications? Yeah. yeah the, 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 this would be in stricter oversight for broadband companies like AT&T, Comcast, and Verizon, the Washington Post reports. The strong belief that net neutrality principles would form the foundation of the open internet. Uh, Matt, Matt's too <clears throat> said in the email <laughs> statement to CNET, these protections uh, will help defend free, es- free expression and innovation, protecting consumers by securing a more equitable online ecosystem. Now, let me just say this. Now, did I hear Will make a comment? Did you say, Will, that, uh, that you have uh, changed your speeds, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, and 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 do you all f- agree that since net neutrality uh, uh, is not a thing, that one of the things that it seems to that they correct me if I'm wrong are they getting away with is like tearing, like you know, like yeah, you said, I will I agree? It's, it's you know, once, uh, once they're not controlled, they're going to screw us every chance. They're, they're going to do it. right. Now, I, I mean, I try to follow along with net neutrality before, as you all might have known. I was, you know, try to follow uh, on Juan. Juan Bagnell would talk about it a lot. Right. Yeah, he's big on net neutrality, too. So why? Yeah. Let me jump up here and see. It says your net neutrality, a quick history lesson. Net neutrality is the principle that all traffic on the Internet. Excuse me should be equal uh treated equally regardless of whether you're checking facebook posting pictures or uh, to instagram or streaming movies from netflix uh or prime video supporters of net neutrality say the rules are necessary to ensure broadband companies aren't taking advantage of their power over the infrastructure that uh, delivers content to your internet enabled tvs laptop uh laptops tablets and smartphones but but the broadband companies and the republicans in congress said uh, in oh, that uh, but broadband companies and republicans in congress and on the fcc said the old rules gave the agency too much power and stifling broadband in investment i know i know if is is my brother still here 
because I know he loved Mr. Pie. Mr. Yeah, no, I forget not, his name not, and that coffee cup. None of us who will... for any kind of fairness was for pie. What I don't get is I can usually understand why the Democrats are this side and the Republicans. This one I don't get because it should be something that everybody should want some kind of fairness. So I don't get mm -hmm. that. Just like they just passed the act for the chips. Well, they found that Republicans and Democrats could agree on, agree on that one. I don't see why they can't agree on that neutrality. It's just my uh, And I'm sorry, I didn't catch that part about the, the chips. I, wh why is there going to be a law? What, what, what's the law going to do? It, I, no, I, they, I don't they're, get They're giving them $52 billion in incentives to build their factory, chip factories here. Oh, my I God. Think, really? I, really? I think is a good thing because if you didn't God. give it to them, they wouldn't. Intel put theirs on hold this month, I guess because they knew this was coming. But my guess is if you hadn't given them the incentive, Intel was going to shut that down. So I think they, I think they, it's they shouldn't have to be given money. They shouldn't have to be given money to go and build a factory for something like that. But this is how I mean. Is. We have Volkswagen yeah. in Chattanooga. They gave them thirty-two billion oh, yeah, in know. tax breaks. This oh, is I how know. it works. So it's, it's all yeah. the same. So I think it's a good thing. As long as we get some chip factories here, okay, give them the incentives. That's how I look at it. Is that? Let so me ask you: is 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 the uh, UAW there? Do you know if it's unionized? Oh, oh I don't know. I don't know. No, because that, that... when I was young, I was in three different unions, and in, in every case, they never did a thing for me. So I'm not a big union guy at all. Yeah. And my brother has a comment. I know he's he's too big on on you know consumer protection and, and stuff. So. Uh, call, call, uh, yeah, don't, don't, call. don't answer me. Answer Mike. Mike is the one who's asking <laughs> why they have to pay. I have no problem with the pain. As long as, as, long as they give us normal people something like chips, I'm good. But does it come hey, with salsa? Anthony's in here. Hey, Anthony, glad to see you, brother. <laughs> Would you say? Yeah. Uh, okay, Mike? I said, does it? Does the chips come with salsa? Oh, you're getting like me. I'm proud See, of you. it's rubbing off. Oh, God. See, no. rules, I can drag anybody Ooh. down to my level, and I'm very proud of that. Mm. I see, now, Anthony's in the union. Like I said, I've had nothing but... No, I can't say I've had nothing but bad experience in unions, but a union never did anything for me that I couldn't do. No, yeah, I just, Even though just, my father was the shop steward. you know. Yeah. When, and I, I mean, I just know times that the, the UAW... And getting that Volkswagen deal going, I don't know if they, if they were oh, behind here? it or against no, it. Or... I thought you meant, no, the union is definitely not here in VW. They tried. They couldn't get it in. Oh, so it's a non Wow. Yeah. Wow, really? I thought by yeah. now they would have been. I thought they'd been around for, for a while. VW fought them tooth and nail. We've got uh, VW here, what is it, 10 years now? And uh, right down the road, they opened an Amazon fulfillment center. And I mean, you could walk from one to the other and they haven't mm -hmm. got unions there yet either. Mm -hmm. The funny thing is I can order something from Amazon. I'm in Chattanooga. They are in Chattanooga. The next day I can watch that thing get shipped to Memphis six hours away and then ship back to Chattanooga the next day. <laughs> and I'm like, can't I just drive over there and pick it up? Yeah, <laughs> really? Yeah, I know. So let me, let me just finish this article real, real quick uh, on this on this uh, okay. history here. Um, uh, give me uh, too much. Uh, the, the result for the past yeah. decade has been a ping pong of federal net neutrality regulations based on political party and change. Sure. In 2015, the FCC, with the Democratic majority, adopted regulation under Title II of the Communication Act of 1934. And in addition to preventing companies from blocking or uh, slowing access to the internet, it also imposed utility style regulation for broadband. In 2017, a Republican led FCC repealed the rules under Chairman, uh, how do you say his first name? A J Pi. Yeah, I know it's probably the last name. The guy with the coffee cup uh, who exactly. argued against against the heavy-handed regulations. Since then, the Democrats on the Hill have repeatedly tried to revive uh, federal net neutrality 
uh, protectionism. Uh, this includes last-ditch effort to reverse net neutrality repeal by the FCC, but the Republicans have opposed those uh, those efforts. I just you know, don't and, understand why you would be opposing it. I just don't get I can usually understand why they have differences. This one I don't get. I just don't get it. That's just me. I think, but, and also, too, you know, <laughs> there, there, there's a lot of things that are going on here. I, I don't think nobody really planned on how streaming services became such a hot, hot thing well, back in 17, what, you know, started really 17 and 18 and through 2019. Now, now, you know, the, the whole landscape for cable TV has changed. And I, right. I really, I think, uh, I don't know. I feel every time you turn around, there's, there's something that is tiered or something that's priced in a certain way. If you want the better stuff, you have to pay more. Yeah. And that, you know, that's you know what I mean? Why I, why I don't buy my phones on something. You know, everybody's trying to get me to give them. A, I'm not giving everybody a monthly fee all the time. That's just not going right. Yeah. Right. I mean, I can't get over. I mean, the, the, the T-Mobile tower that's behind me for my home internet. I don't know. <laughs> I hope they keep it at fifty-five dollars a month. I can handle fifty-five dollars a month. Okay. I couldn't, you know, a hundred and four. I think I was. Yeah. After you know, before fees and all. Yeah. Well, with, look with at Verizon. Look at. Look at uh, BMW and Cadillac, and you saw my. Uh, story from what two weeks ago where the car companies they're gonna want you to pay a monthly fee for mm -hmm. all kinds of stuff in your car that now we get for free. So but, like he, I saw a thing for heated seats. Like yeah, like there's gonna be gonna like a, to, a button they, they control to have heated seats. Heated, yeah, and I have free heated seats in my car right now. There's gonna be a what wheel. hold on a yeah. button to have your heat oh come on all all the, on a BMW all, all yeah there's a like a service package yeah and they're saying oh they're all gonna start doing <laughs> yeah they want a monthly fee for heated seats for heated steering wheels for uh your access to your internet for access to all, all kinds of all the stuff that all we kinds get of weird stuff yeah because they're, they're going to nickel money. and look. Brian says they're going to nickel, nickel and truly nickel and dime you to death. So yeah, but they're going to try to. They're going to have what to happened? get you to agree. A lot of yeah. people are not going to go along with it because once people have something for free and then you start charging them, you're going to lose a lot of people that way. A mm -hmm. lot of people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> people are going to go out and find the old cars. I'm telling you, they're going exactly. all going to find the old exactly. cars. And, you know. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. What happened? Well, I want to ask you his name. I mean, I don't know. Remember when net neutrality was ended under right. under the FCC ruling, and all right. of a sudden states were l looking to do their own. And right. I really and don't California? see the states. Uh, st I, in New York, I think New York had the same thing. I really don't yeah, wait, see wait, the wait, states really a, have the, yeah, have the much of, of a this, bite personally. At the bottom of this article, it tells us. Uh, since the repeal of federal net neutrality protection in states like California, which adopted the net neutrality regulations in 2018, have been filling the void with their own rules. The federal courts have repeatedly upheld states' rights to enact these regulations since the FTC and the Republican control abdicated its authority. I agree. So California's passed it, but they've been fighting them to implement it there. Mm -hmm. You know, the broadband industry trade groups finally dropped their lawsuit to block California's debt. So yeah, I agree. I think all the states should just go ahead and have their own neutrality laws and get it out of, out of the federal government's hands. That's all. So I think it's good that they finally lost to California in that case. So I just don't see why you'd be against net neutrality. I just don't get it. Yeah. Uh, let's see. You see, Big House says now, you know, that happened with electric cars in the future. And Don says, uh, speaking of electric cars, I just heard yesterday Tesla is canceling the site. Oh, canceling the in cyber truck? I didn't Australia. See, see that yet. Okay. And hmm. giving pre order refunds in Australia. Well, they're just canceling in Australia. That makes sense. So if net neutrality became a thing, what, 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 what are we going to see now with? Like I said, I think I the think biggest thing you're going to see is the throttling stop. I don't think you're going to get any other benefit from it, but I think if you can stop them from throttling, stop them from throttling because they're going to do it as soon as there's no land of child. Don't you so agree, you think Will? you'll still do the tearing, the tearing thing, like like yes. like they do with Will there? Yeah. Yes. 
No, I'm just saying, you know, I mean, it's, 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 it's really not right though. You know, it's, I, I it, think you should get is the only benefit you're going to get out of it, but I think you need to get that benefit. You know, that's mm. how I feel. Yeah, so you said the tears will, you said the throttling will stop, but George, will they still do like, um, you know how they cap it? Uh -huh. Like for example, Comcast, they cap your, they cap, they can give you a limit. Like yeah, I'm mm -hmm. you might hoping not, you, that if you don't read the I'm, fine print, you would never know. Right. But if you're like I'm a hoping that they make it or, where they have to tell you yeah. what the limit is and not try to hide it in the fine print. That's what yeah. I'm thinking would be the best thing. Then if, then if they say, okay, you agree to it, okay, well show me that I agree to it first up front. Right. So anyway, I still think it's better having it than not having it. Hmm. So just my opinion. Okay, so moving on. Uh, uh, Will, you want to take the award yeah, about the it up, George. Yeah, put it now, up. Yeah, you, you're going to like this one, Will. <laughs> yeah, but they got that wrong. You, you see, well, you're talking about the nothing phone? Yeah. Yeah, but why do they say that uh, the, can the nothing phone one cameras best a two-year-old? How's a two-year-old iPhone's older in two years. iPhone 11. They're putting it up against uh, an iPhone, up against 11. iPhone 11. Yes. Yeah, but it's a, a two-year-old. A two-year-old no, two? iPhone 11. Yeah, it's two years. When did that phone come out? Now. Two years ago. Two now years ago, I had it. Years. I had no, it, it seems, I'm, it's, I'm, I think it's longer. What am I thinking? No, it's not longer. I had it. I bought it when it came out. Okay, mm. whenever you're ready, Will. Yeah, hold on. Dad, this one doesn't look as nice as the other one did. Hold on, let me pull it. I'll, 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 uh, I'll, I'll put it into read of you in a minute. Well, let me ah, okay. Into, yeah, well, yeah. Let me put it into whenever you're ready now. Okay, go there ahead. There we go. All right. It's not that much of a stretch to see the nothing phone one would like to be the iPhone of the Android world, with its flat-sided design, clean software, a growing ecosystem of similar products, and dual camera layout on the back. But can, can it win over potential iPhone? Can it win over potential iPhone buyers, or steal them away from a reasonably priced iPhone? To find out, we put the Nothing Phone One against the most affordable competing iPhone Apple still sells, the iPhone 11. Um, the phone and the cameras. Before we get into photos, let's talk about the choice of iPhone. The Nothing Phone One starts at 400 British pounds or 480 dollars. For this, it has a mid-range processor, a large 6.55-inch six screen, and a dual camera on the back. While the iPhone SE 2022 comes in around the same price, it's not exactly comparable in specification, and the latest iPhone 13 costs $800 or 780 pounds. While it's closer in spec, it's considerably more money to buy. Mm. To get the equivalent model, to get the equivalent... Equivalent modern iPhone that's sold brand new. We need to go back in time a little. Apple still sells the iPhone 12 new for $599, which is still a little bit too expensive. But at $499 or 480, 489 pounds, the iPhone 11 is just about right. After all, the top nothing phone one with 12 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage costs 499 pounds or about $590. If you got $500 maximum to spend on a big screen smartphone, the iPhone 11 is probably going to be on the list alongside the Nothing Phone 1. The Nothing Phone 1 has a 50 megapixel main camera with optical and electronic stabilization, plus a 50 megapixel um, wide angle camera with EIS. On the front is a 16 megapixel selfie camera. The iPhone 11, which was released in 2019, has a 12 megapixel main camera and a 12 megapixel wide angle, both with OIS and two times optical zoom. The selfie camera also has 12 megapixels. Um, is a fight between a two and a half year old iPhone, two and a half year old phone with twin 12 megapixel cameras and a brand new phone with a 50 or well, twin 50 megapixel cameras, even fair. For the test where we find out both phones were used in auto mode, photos were taken across different days and different lighting conditions, examined on a color ca calibrated monitor, and finally resized before publishing here for friendlier online viewing. Right, so, so Mike, you're kind of right because it came out yeah, in September 
yeah. of 2019. So it's, it's almost in three two years months, old. In two months, it'll be three mm -hmm. years old. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Um, the main camera. Now you don't have to read but everything, well, but, but just uh, let me know. Right, what so skip to a part there. you want to read. I don't know. Okay, yeah, the um, pictures tell a whole story. We'll yeah, start, so, start uh, with the, the next paragraph, right, the sky. The sky and the nothing phone one's photo is slightly less saturated than the iPhone 11's, but hold on, George. Uh, go, ahead. go ahead. Sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> but the but the green has a little more vibrance while the iPhone 11's exposure works to show the something. Oh, okay. Sorry. To, to show the water and its depth more clearly. The detail in both photos is very similar, although there is a hint of noticeable blur in the corners of the phone one. The iPhone 11's improved exposure helps show the texture of the path, the column, and the stepping stones. Yep. And you can see that plain as day here on this yeah, one. Yeah, that looks... <laughs> yeah, yep. that's pretty, pretty obvious. Uh, <laughs> Big heavens. <laughs> okay, now this is, gonna, this is going to be for these six, second two pictures. Okay. All right. Uh, moving on to an overcast day at first glance, the pair, again, take very similar photos. Um, it's when you look more closely that the differences appear. Look at the lamppost, and you can see the ridges in the metal and the inside of the lamppost itself on the iPhone 11's photo. But none of the detail appears on the phone one's image. Wait, let me show that. Okay. That is the iPhone 11's image. They're talking about that here. Yeah, you can't see it at all here. Big difference, see it? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, the better exposure helps show detail in the trees in the background too, which are partially lost on the phone one's photo. Now look at the two close-up photos taken with the main camera, beginning with a white flower. As we saw with the photo of the park, the phone one emphasizes the green more than the iPhone 11, and the stark white of the flower really stands out. The iPhone 11's photo is better balanced, and when you zoom in to look at the petals, there's more detail in the petals, but a little more noise in the background. Both have lovely natural bouquet, um, and our photos I really like. Finally, how about getting really close? The photo of the bumblebee was shot using the main camera at one time zoom and tapping on the screen to ensure the camera is focused on the insect and nothing and not something else. I took multiple images with both cameras because photos of insects are difficult to take. And these two are the best examples from both cameras. So, there okay, the so here's the one with the flowers. This is the uh, a nothing phone. This is the iPhone. You can see the bouquet is very good. But it, to me, the iPhone beats it every single time in every single shot. That's just my opinion. And you're talking about a phone that's almost three years old compared to the nothing phone. I mean, look at the shot. Look at the B. It's way better on the iPhone. Especially, look look at the wings. Yeah. Yeah, okay. but, no, you know, nobody's going to buy the nothing phone anyway. <laughs> well, so nobody well, in America should, so I don't think it's going to work yeah. right in America. Yeah. They should have they should have put it here, though. I was telling Mike, I, I probably, I, I might have picked it up just because it was a little weird, but. If they had put it, it here, I would have picked it up just to have it as the first time, you know. Mm. Um, the Nothing Phone does a good job showing off the bumblebee's furry body and the delicacy of its wings and isolating it from the background, too. But it can't quite match the iPhone 11, which shows more detail, less noise, and obvious edge enhancement and better color balance. It's extremely good for a smartphone and perhaps even better considering the iPhone is more than two years old. Overall, the two main cameras took very similar photos. It does appear to nothing phone one has been tuned to compete with the iPhone more than a camera like the Samsung Galaxy A53. However, it can't quite match the detail exposure or the ability of the iPhone 11. Um, the wide-angle camera performance differs a lot more than the main cameras across the two phones. This time, the iPhone 11 delivers the more saturated photo, while the Nothing tends to underexpose and has less defined colors. Starting with the photo of the field and the tree, the iPhone 11's photo has a lot more life and vibrancy, while the Nothing phone's photo is colder. And you can see that difference. Yeah, I mean, it's very stark because, yeah, in the regular photos... The green for the uh, nothing phone was much better than this. Yeah, now it's getting very washed out. And there's yeah. the iPhone. So, okay. Uh, yeah. 
And now, we've, now I guess he's going to talk about the bottom too. Okay. I kind of agree with you, uh, Big House, on that one. What? What? I'm missing all the comments. What? <laughs> no, no. You... Um, well, I went over. I went over to Twitter to go and post the link for for we're live. So I saw uh, Big House, and, and I want to know, Big House, did was somebody do that, or did you manage to zoom in? There's a picture of Ben Affleck on his on his yacht boat, okay. and he's like out cold, you know, doing that man snore. And he, here he is, he's in his clutches is is his iPhone, which you know he's you know uh, somehow <laughs> he's got it zoomed in on that. So he says, you know, Batman uses an iPhone, and it just it's just so funny, it's just a straight comment like that. <laughs> so we're here talking, you know, and, and Big House says worst Batman ever in his opinion, and I kind of, kind of, I kind of oh, agree. Yeah, I wasn't impressed. Yeah. I'm st- I'm and stuck Captain on them. Um, Captain America uses an Android phone, doesn't he? Yeah. Was, no. What? Was the- no. Who was no, Batman Captain America the... was crying the blues. He does. He lost his uh, his oh, his oh, ever so loving he get button his, he here. Get rid okay. Of his success. Yes, it was. Yes. Success. He didn't want to yeah. get rid of his phone. Who no, was, man. Who was Batman in the one with Bane. Uh, Christian Bale. Oh, okay. That's okay, that he was. was okay. He was good. No, he was good. He was oh, not okay. okay. He was good. Yeah. That, who, was that, the, who was the first one? Uh, Michael Keaton. Uh, Adam. Michael Keaton. The first, no, the first. No, Adam West. When you stop oh, you in, about in the movies, one. when you start putting Michael Keaton up against almost any other actor, he's he's going to win every time. He's just way better than most actors. A whole lot better than most actors will ever dream of being. He always has been. So, <laughs> yeah. Big ass! I'm like, how can Daredevil be Batman? That's yeah. <laughs> that, that's a very good point. That's a very, yeah. Daredevil was my favorite character back in the day. Mm. Okay. Do we want to stop us? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, the iPhone, iPhone. one. <laughs> yeah, these the easily. Hey, these are what? the these are the very phones you got your kids, didn't you? right? Will? Yeah, yeah. It was only it was four. What did I pay? Four seventy nine, something like that. Yeah, I'm yeah. I'm still on my twelve. On my twelve. I got my daughter the purple. I'm probably going to trade it in to get the fourteen max. Remember, Mike, when that purple came out and they made a big deal, like they like. Need mm-hmm. like a whole new commercial and everything. That's the one mm-hmm. I got. I got my son a black one. And uh, and he's Brian says Captain America. Uh, yeah, he was right. He's saying his iPhone 12 Pro yes, he Max did. was he too did. heavy. All that muscle is too heavy. I mean, that's yeah, it is. That, yeah, but they when they did that to the sides and put the yeah, that phone is a. Sh- I don't know how people use that as a Max. I couldn't do it. It's too big. It's too big and it's heavy with this with the what is that steel size or whatever that is. Hopefully, it's I'll heavy. be getting the Pro Max in September. <laughs> yeah, yeah. George, you getting the fourteen? Yeah, I skipped the thirteen. George. I just I, oh, okay. I have to get the fourteen. George, you got to get the make sure you get the Pro. I'm going to get the, the biggest one they've the, got, the best one they've got. Yeah, there's yeah. a there's it's another one I saw. There's another thing I saw was isn't there there is there a chance of going to be four iPhones? They're like saying they that it's going to be they're gonna have the pro models are going to be like now, and then they're going to have a large size that's not a pro. Because remember, they're saying that they're not putting the, the top chip in the two that aren't pro or something. Right. The, the two pros are going to have all the real specs. Yeah. That's the thing. And, and better cameras. And the, and the pros are going to have the 16 chip, while the other two are going to have the 15 chip. Was that this year's model? This yes. year's chip? Yes. Yeah, the sixteen. So the, re- is just, the sixteen is just for the pros. It's not for the regulars. Wow! Oh my god! Oh my! That's god. how you got to do it, Mike. That's how you got to do oh, it. Oh, that's so Listen, Android right there, man. And no, they're not, gonna charge more money not. for it too. It's not. The, now watch, not watch. Next it. thing is the next thing is the pros are going to get the it. update and they're right. going to limit you the know, updates no, on the, on the regular models. Watch. They just want to sell. They want to sell Let's the phone. Not. So listen. Yeah, but keep in mind, they've says, always been fair Mike, with the updates. I don't think they're going to change Mike, that. you got to think about it this way. Everybody always says, what makes the phone pro? What makes it pro? So now they're showing you what makes it pro. Everybody always says, "Why well, get the pro? Get the regular one." So now they're giving you a reason why. Yeah, they're giving they you a reason to spend more money phone. for the pro. That's yeah. true. Now they're going to differentiate. If you just want a big regular phone, Superman's carrying. What's his deal? He's ca- Superman's carrying a pixel. What? Hollywood what? TV st- movie star carrying a, a non-existent what? pixel. What? Hollywood TV movie star carrying a not an iPhone. 
<laughs> Google must be paying them. <laughs> hey, Superman, wow. Superman Hen Henry Cavill, is that Superman? Yeah, that's, uh, that's Superman. See, I only watch so Marvel wait. movies. I, I don't watch any DC movies at all, period. Case closed. I missed some of it, Mike. You said your friend is getting the Pixel what? He's getting the, the 6A? Uh, he does see this is where it gets a little he gray. I'm gonna go yet, with right? him on I'm gonna go with him on Sunday to see what he's getting. But he's still stuck on that. He swears that the salesman said he's gonna get he's gonna get a pixel pixel phone. He doesn't know which one, and he's gonna pay like three or four dollars a month on it. I'm like um, going be an old one. What store did uh, he go to? Of uh the Defford Mall. That's a corporate yeah, store. He must be getting like the three A or the four A, something like that. Now nah, what? The four A is not available a, for three dollars a month. I know. I know. Well, I asked him. I said, well, "Did you get any like promo stuff, like saying, hey, we'll discount something'? You know, discount something?'" He did. He told me he got an, um, a text message just recently for uh, the uh, Samsung S twenty FE. He could get that for free. Or and then he got another text message saying they'll take fifty bucks off his next purchase of a phone just to get him off of the three G network. Now, what phone does he have now? Oh, he's on the three G. What network. phone does he have now? Yeah, Will he? Will he has an LG flip phone that's using three G? Oh wow! Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Oh he wow! Doesn't, he right. doesn't have a choice but to get off it. Yeah. You know. Will I think he had this phone about the time when the first iPhone came out. What wow. year was that? 2009? 2007. No, 2007. Wow. Okay. Well, he had the plan. Let me clarify. I think he's on his second phone, but the plan that he has that he's been on forever. Guys, he walks into 7 Eleven and buys minutes. Okay. That's, that's unbelievable. This is going to okay. be a goes in, all right. new thing for him. Mm -hmm. So, wait, so, Mike, are you live streaming this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Are you? you lost no, me. I can't do that. No, I gotta be. I gotta be sure. I I don't trust the Verizon salesman, so I want to make sure my friend doesn't really no, get but, rubbed, well, when he so. gets it, are you gonna are you gonna live stream oh. a setup or something? Uh, that would I don't be know. Cool. That would I, be yeah, cool. I, he may yeah, not. He may not play what time long. Are going? Uh, sometime after lunch on on Sunday. Uh, I'll be at work by the I don't know. I'll, I'll see. At least due to his reaction to it, something. Yeah. This is good yeah. Content. Yeah. Be the next... Oh, wait. Did Travis ever say what his channel is? Um, His channel. Hmm. This guy Travis has a channel? This guy yeah. has a channel? Remember Travis George? He Hello, like Jack. shut down his channel. But he still and has then... it. I thought he like shut it down or something. And no, he was making he just, a new channel, and you had to watch the stream to see what it was. But I never stayed on the watch. Mm. And I know I saw I saw Joe. What's that guy's name? John Rettinger on the thing whining the other day about why Apple doesn't like him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But but it took that video to make me realize, and I was wrong. I have not stopped subscribing to him. I'm still getting his videos. And he he is knowledgeable, but it just made me see what it was about him that turned me off. And I just find so, him kind of I just find him kind of childish. Always have, you know. I'm confused. I don't think I finished watching it. Well, Apple got it mad. All. Apple got mad because he did what? He, uh, he was having a problem phone? with the XR. No, 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 no. no. It, it, initially, yeah. yes. He but initially he showed the dummy cases for the XR. Oh, yeah, the dummy. He had a dummy phone, too, I think. The day before it came out, and they got very upset about that and started threatening him right off the bat. And then what, what else did he do that? And like, then oh. then he, uh, after he got the phone, I guess months later, he gave an honest review. They really didn't like that big time. Okay. Mm -hmm. But I wonder why they... I don't know. I wonder why they targeted him. Because a lot of people complain. Yeah, you know and, what I mean? And I was thinking the same thing because when he said this started with the dummy units, I'm like, yeah, but other people get dummy units. Everybody gets dummy units. Yeah. Everybody 
does reviews right. and some people complain. They say the phone's too expensive. They yes, I'm with you. I it seems like he got targeted to me too. I have no idea why. It almost I mean, I guess it I'm I'm sure it probably did happen, but maybe there's more to the story or something. You know, like I, I think said, you know, remember I'm 77 years old. To me, I have always found him a little childish. So to me, this is the same kind of childishness. He's just whining about something that happened four years well, ago. Well, he knows he knows that this video is going to get him a lot of views. Yeah, that's true. He, I, I watched it all the way he through. Always, he would always allude to it, like why he doesn't go to the event, but he would never say it. So Yeah, yeah, because he used to be able to sit right up front. Now that's he can't I'm even wondering, go. Like, I can't imagine a bad review from his... I think he was on what Techno Buffalo or whatever. Yeah, he was, he was on. on Techno Buffalo. And I can't keep imagine. In mind, he didn't say it was a bad review. He gave it an honest review. Yeah, but just, I can't. Even like, that, I can't. He got, two, he got two bad phones in a row. That's the but problem. But people, people give phones bad reviews all the time. Like, there's, it's not like well, everybody. He, well, buys he got a bad, he got a, he got a bad phone. Sent it back. They sent him a new one. The new one was just as bad. So he finally did a review talking about it. So he gave his like yeah, but. But he's not the only one to give a bad review. I is what I'm saying. So I don't I understand. Agree. I, I why. agree. With you. It seems he's. It seems like he was targeted. I agree. Yeah, but that's what I don't understand. Why would they target him? It don't well, make sense. Keep in mind, if he was going to events regularly, maybe that's why I think event, he just said the wrong thing to the wrong person at some point. That's all yeah. I can think of. Maybe somebody else said he was whining too, and they got sick of him. <laughs> <laughs> He, I, I don't know. He just always struck me as, but he's very knowledgeable. I, I got to give him that, and he's very professional. You know, it's just there's something kind of childish about him. Oh, he broke the embargo. That's why he probably can't get. No, no, they claim he yeah, did, but, but he was just a dummy to unit. Him, he showed these dummy units that was not breaking the embargo. In my opinion, maybe maybe, maybe Apple somebody it breaking maybe, the embargo. Maybe somebody found out he broke. Maybe somebody saw the dummy units and said. He did a review without. No, yeah, the and video. that's what it was. He he said when some somebody at Apple saw the dummy units and thought he was showing the real thing, oh, and then he well. got in contact with him, but he wasn't showing the real thing. But they had already gone off on. Yeah, him. it's already. See, you know what though? I mean, I kind of blame him because if you're in that kind of a position where Apple's giving you a device to review early or whatever, right. You right. would think you would try to make sure everything's gonna go smooth. What's a you know what I mean? Yeah, but you I don't see, think this I would risk. Why, I don't think I would is, risk showing the dummy units. I don't think I would the, risk it. I probably wouldn't either. But this is why I, I would go more towards Flossie's way than his way because Flossie would rather pay for something than have yeah. to mm -hmm. give you a friendly review. And I'm I'm with him all the way on that. Yeah. Hey hey guys, there's a gentleman, uh, Jack Jack Le. I can't. I, I'm horrible with last names. He has a question that's, here. If you if you could have a computer, what fine. would be the specs? Okay, you guys have to go with this because I'm not good with computers. Uh, specs. I have no idea. Yeah, me neither. I I'm I'm going to go with what are you going to use it for? I'm going to go with what are you going to use it for? Because you still can get. It depends now, on me, what kind of for me it would always computer be a you want computer yeah. because gaming computers are good for editing. So yeah, it would have to be some kind of gaming computer or close to it. Well, it, it, that's what I'm saying, George. I mean, if this guy is just going to go and do you know pay his bills and watch us on YouTube, you know, he doesn't need to get no, like a spec yeah, out one. Just do Instagram and Twitter, yeah. You know. Hey, heck, I've been yeah. recommending, uh, and I know I'm going to get flack for this. I've been recommending Chromebooks left and right for people because I know they ain't getting I, into I think into the heavy. Vast majority would be very happy with a Chromebook. Right, right. So, so Jack, you're the. You, we need a little bit more information. If you could put it in the well, comments. He says if you, he means us. But for me, me it would it would have to be. Oh, I'm really well for me. Okay, I'm music. sorry. Well, for yeah, for me, uh, the specs would be, you know. See, I'm weird. I like trying. I, I like to push a, a, something cheap to its limit. So I'm like looking at like I got the MacBook Pro downstairs. I think it's got eight gigs of RAM and two fifty six. But I'm going to change the 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 drive to five hundred and, and make it an SSD. Okay. So 
you know, the Ram, what's important to me, Ram is important. I was willing to spend the money, but I, I don't think I need any more Ram in that. So, you know, that's, that's, that's what I can best say right now. <laughs> so you, you're what? saying, I don't think I need any more Ram. And I'm thinking, well, don't, oh, no, here we go. don't get sheepish about it. Oh, ramp, ramp, the start. sheep is right there. That, the eye sheep is right there. You, what are you talking about? <laughs> Whatever happened to Google's tablet? Did it ever come out? No, no. They, no, they said it wasn't going to come out until 23. Uh, but uh, MKBHD or somebody mentioned it the other day and they saw it again or saw something Probably about it. Probably said it shouldn't come out. <laughs> no, no that, that was the first one I heard where he didn't say something negative because everybody else is saying, "What? Well, why are they bothering? Because it's so bad. It, think- it looks so old. It like, does. Yeah, it is. It does. Yeah. I'm telling you, they're gonna hmm. like when they send it to people, it's gonna have like a new discussion. Think, they made it in like, I don't 2008. Think, I don't think it's a tablet that we're used we're used to thinking of though, too. Yeah, well, we're used to iPad Pros, and I'm used to. Um, I think that tablet's going to be more home centric, you know, to do things for you. It looks like make a, it, it looks but like also a home to, home. yeah, like it's a portable not home. Home be an iPad or a Surface. I guarantee you that. Yeah, you know, I see guys, I see more of of their investment going into Chrome tablets. That would make uh, sense. You know, with detachable keyboards and all that stuff. Yeah, that would make sense to me. Yeah, I see a lot of that going on right now, and and I see the chipsets are improving. So just like um Gary's got a message for you. I don't know if you heard it, George. What? Jerry was on maybe it was two two podcasts ago where he basically said the same thing I've been saying. Google doesn't care about their phone. No, he he was he said it in this last podcast. He said yeah. it twice as a he matter of fact. Who said this again? Jerry. Jerry Hildenbrand. Oh, Jerry. And Jerry. Okay. Central. Yeah, he said it twice. He he says, and at the last time he said it in this podcast, he says, "But guys, I really don't think Google cares about it." So mm-hmm. you know, and I and I had said that too. You know, but I the think they, thing I, is, I think they made this, more of an effort with the six than I've ever seen them make before. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. The it's like the effort that they put in though, it's like why even I don't know. I don't know. It's like it's if they like, don't it's care like why they're should working I, their way up to it, right? Feeling it's like, it as why they should go. I, why should I give y'all my money if y'all like I don't know? Well they, they always have they, they, they always have a very issue, good though. phone in the six this and year. The six, yeah. But this year they had the update with the the issue with the updates. Like, oh yeah, like, Eleanor and updates, I went crazy with like, the with the fix stuff with the uh, fingerprint. But other than that, everything is all good now, big time. And That's the phone is like six A because I got the six Pro. They're not new at this no more. Like, no, they're not. You know, no, they're not. But, but issues, between dude. the six. Between the Pixel 6 and 6 Pro, and what I'm seeing about the uh, Buds Pro, it sounds like they're getting a little more serious about things. That's my guess. Yeah. So They're getting anyway, serious about killing Google Duo. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, I saw I that. Mean, I saw I, that I, before, I too. Thing. Well, you, you, we knew it was like, <laughs> like Will said. What, Will, wasn't it you that said we knew it was coming? Was it yep, that's that, the, that was so, me. That's the Google. So I'm going sh- to share a moment with you guys. I know Will's going to love this. So I get my trusty Pixel. I go, yeah, I want to tap to pay. And I open it up <laughs> and it goes, hey, we made changes. You yeah, have to go and you put your one. phone number in. Do you want this? Do you want that? I'm trying to pay and there's a line of people. Okay. And I'm like going, crap. So I just look like a real boof, doofus. Well, I have to put I, down my phone, get my wallet out. I wasn't trying to pay when it happened. <laughs> I, I was like, going, I'm done. I'm done. I can't get over it. Just why do they have to do this? Why? But they, but they, told, why? Us week, they told us weeks in advance that was coming too. So you can't I understand that. But you know, you're busy. You go and get your phone and it does this crap George, to you. You can't, you can't just make excuses because they give you notice. Like they no, need to have I, I'm not making consistent. excuses. All I'm going to say, don't act like you were standing in line and it surprised you when they told you a week. He was surprised. That was he was surprised. He shouldn't so have wait, been listen. surprised. No, he wait, not have no, been. no, no. You know, I did. Wait, on. George. It should have been wait, that wait, hard to do. Why? I don't have. It wasn't hard to do, Mike. Come on, even I did. Hold on. 
Hold it on. Was, I was just say hard, but inconvenient. So wait, did the phone did the phone send you a message, Mike, and say that it was doing it, or George, uh, or did you read it? Because no, I didn't get person, I didn't get nothing like the that. Average person isn't no, like I, I think I, I think I accidentally s s hit it. And immediately I got the message. So I guess you had to hit See? it to get the message. Yeah. So Mike, if Mike was an average person and just in the store, clicked the thing, and that's but he's he, not but the minute, average Mike, person. Wait, he Mike, knew that on. was coming. Mike, the average here's person, my question. I agree with you. Mike, hold on. Your Google Pay was already set yeah, up, right? Gary. Previously. Gary seems to love it. Wait, Mike. Your Google Pay was already set up, right? You're right. Yes. It was so, all set up. So so why didn't it just And work? it acted like why it was you, like getting wait, reset up all over you, again. Why did you have to open it at all? I'm what do you mean? I, it, I'm thinking wait wait, I have, have to, to hit the button. I have to hit the button no. here. Because when I when I use Google, now you had before, no, he, he's right, Mike. You had to re reauthorize the card from your bank and everything. And I'm thinking that's because from whenever you set your last card up to now, you might have changed dates. A lot of people probably have, so you had to set it no. up over again. But it was only no. minutes for me. No, it should have just worked. Like his his Google Pay was already. You're saying set it had up. to work, but so, but suppose but suppose it had expired in between. Suppose the last time you went no, there was listen, a year ago. That's what. But but my George, that's what I'm saying. He uses Google Pay. So let's say three weeks ago, he was able to just. When you use right. Google Pay, Mike, when you go to the store. Don't you just unlock your phone? Yes. Yeah. I just so tap the thing. You, so it wants my thumbprint. So what made you open the app? Because when I used to use Google Pay, I never opened the app. I oh, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I know what you're talking about. I open it up because I choose which which debit or credit card I care to use. Oh, don't they still let you? Ones. Don't they still let you? Choose like on the lock screen or something, didn't they? Use uh, okay, you're choose? right. I think you might be. Well, wait a minute. You so, yeah, I, wait a minute, I wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. One, so I know, but I know I hit mine, so, and then it came. So, up. Will, what are you saying? Here's my here, here. Now, I just do this, and what is on here? I thought you were able to just like oh, look at that. Was, That's a little corner yeah. there. Yeah, oh, damn. I forgot damn. about all that. I don't even got an Android phone, and I'm telling <laughs> Mike, Mike, okay, I'm selling all my phones, Mike, I'm going back Mike, to a dumb phone. And I, I'm, I'm you closing the channel. Ashamed of yourself. You know you should be ashamed of yourself. You're having an apple juice guy wait, teaching you wait, all the stuff. Wait, you how to lose? How to lose? <laughs> wait a minute. How Lewis uh, Rossman uh, goes at the end of his video? I hope you learned something today. I learned something today. Okay. <laughs> but you know what? Mike? Okay. We have a Lewis Rossman situation here. Okay. I completely forgot work. about that little thing on the corner. That it's is that, still that's embarrassing. Work, it probably huh? still wouldn't have worked though, because it probably would have said you had to reset. Say I had to change. Yeah, yeah. I had to Ex reset. And look at Gary said tap the pay, yeah. but then he, he then he said his pay. card expired and he had to update it. And I'm thinking, right? I had no cards. I had no card. In. No, none of my cards expired. No, his cards didn't expire. It just made him update it because and because way I went into the app. It probably wouldn't have worked if you oh, just yeah, tapped sure. it because whatever they did. But the crazy thing is just imagine if you didn't have your wallet. You would have been in the store with a whole bunch of groceries or whatever you were buying mm -hmm. and been like Oh, I gotta leave this here because Google decided. That's why they to... told you beforehand it was but coming. They didn't tell you, yeah, but I didn't. I didn't, didn't, didn't get no notice. I want. I didn't expect George that. George works I, for Google. <laughs> yeah, I know he does. No, no, and, and, just, and 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 Gary, I'm sorry, Gary. I'm sorry. I let you down. You don't like me now. Time, I'm not going to get shocked <sighs> when you do it. But you know, when did they tell him? I'm very upset. George, I let when I'm did up, they tell I, him? Gary, Gary's I the of me. I'm sorry. Matt, like two or three weeks beforehand. There was an article, but Mike is an average not user. Not a article, not, a bunch of articles. He's, he's right. He, you know, you're Mike right, Will. You're you're article. absolutely right. Every, so you know what? You're funny. And I catch myself. I catch myself every time I set up a phone. It's always looking about the same as the last time. Every time. And I got to stop doing that. I got to try and, but, but because I'm so average- you know Why what I mean? I do make, average what, stuff. You're right. Like, what's wrong with making it look like last time? Uh, and Brian, Brian, because, you know, I thought you were, I thought you were a fan for Google. Like he goes, time. he just, why well, I just Except, Apple Pay? Oh man! Yes, yes, exactly. And that's, exactly. Just, you know, that's funny, just, Brian. I thought the very thing. I go, damn it! I left my iPhone in the car. Tap on the side, and there goes all your cards, and then you just. 
That's it. Uh, thank you, Gary. You I'm glad you still love news. me. You don't got to worry about no surprise update if you read the article and found out that your Google Pay is going through <laughs> an update or they're shutting it down or whatever they do at Google these days. But it, it only it. took a. But even even though it happened then, it only took a couple of minutes. I mean, it's he had to use where, his. He it's pulled the kind out of his thing wallet. Where he could have gotten George, out of line and, and, out. and done it. But you that's an saying. inconvenience. That would yes, make you lose yes, faith in the whole yes, system. You'd be like, I'm not hey guys, using this I'm not, anymore. Not to, listen, listen. Look, look, I just want to show you. you. I think Mike yeah. started to, just to get you going. Well, I, that that's that. there's nothing I have to start. It just happens. Yeah. See, look at that yeah. right there. See this gentleman? This, yeah. Gustavo. Gustavo. This gentleman has been, we've been talking. He's in Brazil. We are reaching Brazil, guys, right now. Okay. So All right. We can reach the Philippines and England. I think we can reach Brazil. I think okay. we're doing pretty good here. We're worldwide. Hot damn. <laughs> uh, I don't know yeah, why you a, that's come a, into that's the chat, talk, buddy. Mike. So you fixed it, now, Mike? You're, you're right about that, Will. You're right about that. So, Mike, you're Yeah, you're I fixed it now, when right? I got home. Yeah, I'm all set up. What happened to the Pixel Watch? Uh, I think it, that's coming in the, in the fall. No, no, that that comes out when the seven comes out. So that's going to be Jeez, October. Jeez, Google! By the time this stuff comes out, you know, I am I am, di no I am dying for that. But hey, I, my Pixel Buds Pro will be the first time I get these, so I'm happy. But yeah, the watch, oh I'm dying. God. I'm dying to try the watch. I forgot matter, all about it. Honestly, matter of fact, what a week and a half. It. I don't think I'm going to get the new Samsung watch because they're taking the bezel away. What new I, Samsung watch? They have another one. Yeah, I watch five. Yeah, coming out with the Z Flip and Fold. When is that and coming out? And they're not going to have I'm out the of bezel. the loop. And they're not going to have the bezel. <laughs> August. Oh 10th. wow, August. Yeah, 10th. they got rid of the, yeah. the the watch. They got rid of the bezel. Wow. Yeah, let's so take let's take more now. away. So I they think should I'm never get. They getting, should. They should never get rid of this. I'm getting the new flip. That, and I that, told Elmo today, I'm probably not going to get the watch because I don't want to. No, get don't get the watch. Don't get the watch. Usually, yeah. if I get the watch, I'll end up giving Eleanor the watch four. I gave her the watch three when I got this one. Yeah, but I no, it's I not love worth the it. Bezel. They're taking it. They're taking stuff away. Yeah, the bezel is nice. I like. I, I That's like the, the best oh, part of the watch. I agree. I agree. It's 100%. a bezel. Hundred percent. Is Adam in here? Adam, the, you still in the chat? I think the the Pixel Watch isn't going to be. I'm good, excited for one. it. I, I'm I don't hoping think the first they one make it good. Mike, oh, we, what, what we phone to... is Adam using now? He's still on the Pixel. Pixel Five, yeah. That yeah. phone, that was that was a good phone. Yeah, well, here we go, here we go. You know, Adam, uh, talk about rotating bezels and all. How do you like the Gear S three? I he he's test driving it right now. The size uh, of that phone was perfect. What the five? Yeah, yeah. yeah it seems like he, you know. it's the regular Gear S three. The well, the no, classic. the the classic, yeah. Oh, okay. It's yeah, I, I had it on swap, and my brother got and I got talking <laughs> had about it. Swap, and nobody wanted it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, I had no, no, I don't even have it on there that long. Not even a nibble. People probably were trying to get that for like eighty dollars. It's yeah, nice. No, he he, he likes doesn't it. play much with it. Molly loves the rotating thing. <laughs> that, that, Molly's his daughter. Yeah. yeah, everybody loves that rotating bezel. And people are going to be very upset that the new one doesn't have it, I think. And yeah, I think, I like with the me, they're going to lose some sales because of it. So, George, are you getting the Pixel 7? More than likely. You know, That's going to be like gonna white, get, right? I'm, I'm probably going to get the new Z Flip in, in a week and a half. Jeez, George, you're balling. Yeah, well, I, haven't, I agree with I haven't, Brian bought, on that I haven't bought a new take phone away, since I got. I haven't bought a new phone since I got the Moto Wedge, and that's been what two, three months now. Three months. <laughs> yeah. Well, for me, that's, for me, that's it's a long through withdrawal. Oh my god. For me, that's a long. Time. I usually. How buy many you got now, George? 20, 21, 22? No, 20? I've traded some, man. I've got about. 15 or 16. Yo, George, what 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 next phone? What old phone are you going to bring out out of the woodwork and, and do a I'm video not, on? I'm not telling that in advance. People I have to tell people, let people be Come surprised. On. They like that. I'm not telling you. I already know what phone is going to be, but I'm not telling you. <laughs> it'll, be, George, you had, 
You know, wait a minute. Do you have the Axon 7? No, not Axon. No, what's Axon that one? The Volt 7. No, well, not Axon, the 7. No, the Axon M. Yes, I still M. have that too. Yes. You have that? Yes. That's not the one that's going to be. No. <laughs> uh, Mike, what's your yes, next phone? Yes, You're picking up, Mike. The iPhone 14 Max? No. No. Honestly... It I, is going to be an iPhone. iPhone. 14 Pro Max, that's what, that's that's, what I'm that's, talking about, Mike. Get an it iPhone. It is going to be an iPhone. I, I cherish the size. I also have been talking about it many times. I also cringe have to talk here. Let me see if I can. Get you know, the iPhone, Mike. You're almost George. I, he's coming, George. He's coming around. Like That keyboard is just too damn he's small. He's coming around, but I think he'll always be like me. I love my iPhones, but I'll I, always I be like there. I love my iPhone. I do, I but, but, I, but Android is still in he's, my heart. Yeah, Mike's so. just like me. I love my iPhone, but I'll always be an Android guy. Oh, I got to work. Gosh. Well, I was. Mike, now I'm going to be helping Mike, my keep friend. In mind, I wear an Apple Watch every day, every other day, and I wear a Samsung watch every day. The Samsung is my favorite watch of the two. Oh, my gosh. You know, when I'm riding my bicycle, every five miles, Apple tells me five miles, such and such calories. My Samsung watch tells me that every mile doesn't wait five miles it tells me every single mile it's and not I'm a setting i'm not right. joking is there a setting you can change on, that only so apple watch no, no. i don't no. know but i know when you walk this the apple watch will tell you every mile you do I yeah don't know. Now, see, it's it's riding it only tells you every five miles whereas the, whereas the samsung watch tells me every single mile i like that it tells me how Big fast house, i yeah. went yeah the apple watch tells me five miles and how fast i went the Samsung watch tells me how fast I went. Does the Samsung single... watch tell you your cardiac health and your VO2 it, it gives, max? It gives, rate, it gives me my heart rate. It gives me my heart rate for every mile too. Yes, yes. It, it tells you your VO2 active. max in the health app, and it can do all that other health stuff that the Apple Watch does. Yes, Samsung's it does. Not yeah, there. yeah the, yes, it can. The, the four does it better than the three did, but yes, it does. Yeah, they, they're both equal in that regard. Yeah, I don't know. That Sam, the but last I have, time I seen that I have, Samsung Health app, it was you, messy. That Samsung I, Health I, app is I, I messy. It's too much. Yeah, nah, I don't know. I, I don't know about to, that now. Like it's round, too much stuff. I in like there, round Mike. watch faces better than square watch faces. I already know that. It's it's too much stuff in that in that health app. Too much, too much stuff. In who's uh, in uh, Apple? In, in that in the Samsung Health app. Even no. when I when I when I had it on my iPhone, it was just too much going yeah, on. On, on the uh, in in the Galaxy Watch Four, they added a bunch, so there's a See lot of stuff. In there <laughs> See what there I'm saying? A, I don't it's look just... at most of it. <laughs> See? Oh, Renz, Renz is going. Renz, thank you so much as always, brother. Have a wonderful yeah. and blessed weekend, sir. Are we ready to hang it up, guys? Because uh, yeah, we're gonna yeah. get Mike in as soon as uh. Mike's done over there. See, see, I'm, 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 I've been waiting and waiting. I think now, yeah, but Four. I'm tempted at that, that, that uh, iPhone 11. And I think it's going to be. Yeah, I'm telling you, Mike, get the. 11. But not, I want to. I got to get a 128. A well, I don't know because you want. I don't know though, Mike, because you said you wanted. AMOLED you screen. Want? Yeah, I so want we'll get the 11 then. I know, yeah, but you're gonna have to get the 12. I have to you wait. You have to get oh, a Pro 13, model 13, 13. or a Pro. You got to get a mm -hmm. Pro. That's right. I have the 12 Pro. Uh, don't get I the 12, have... Mike. Don't get the 12. The 12 <laughs> battery was not good. I'm telling you. Yeah, if I were going to buy it now, Mike, I would definitely get a 13. Look for an uh, yeah. Like if you if you want to save some money, look for an 11. I mean, uh, yeah, an 11 Pro. Don't get the 12 because I remember the 12's battery was not the 12 Pro battery. I had the 12 Pro. I never had a battery problem. I didn't like the battery on that one oh. compared to the, the I mean, 13 and the 11. I thought I mean, it was I, a downgrade. I carry this to work. Wow. Yeah. I All did. So I, I don't know. Problem. Because I think the 12, wasn't it? No, the 12, wasn't the 12 120 hertz? No. Yes. It yes. was. So yes. I think that's why, to me, the battery wasn't as good. I See, I, to me, I, I'm like Flossie. You give me a limit, I'm going to put it at that limit. So I get, mine stays at 120 hertz. You know. Well, you can't turn it off <coughs> on the iPhone. Oh, that's right. You can't. Yeah, and, you can't. 
Apple doesn't give you that. Brightness wise, I'm going to put <laughs> it up as bright as it goes option. almost all Just the time. Just get it, Mike, so you can get that. So you can have all the customization of the the, the lock I agree. screen. Just pushing I you agree. further and further <laughs> away from Android. That's all I'm, we're doing. I'm over excited here at to see to see iOS 16 because I, I never got the beta. Pushing and you I, further and, I, and further away. But Mike will be like me. He'll always be in there. Mike, you'll be on Twitter. Way. Mike will be on Twitter posting hashtag iOS 16 lock screen with the with the time and the well, I love day. the iOS 16 <laughs> lock screen too, but I'm still an Android yeah. guy. Yeah, but Mike is Mike is slowly transitioning. He just doesn't know. Oh, it yet. stop it. Stop <laughs> it. He just doesn't know yeah, it. Yeah, I'm I'm Mike, I'm trying to be patient and wait until the new phone drops, and that means like the other price. phones will come down. So you price. got another month. So you got another month. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm yeah. trying to wait out. Because you already I'm know trying. you try to trade in. You could you could you could go to Apple with the Galaxy Z Fold 3 and they'll be like, we'll recycle it for you. <laughs> yeah, but, but you plus nothing. you get the face unlock with yep, the mask. face unlock with the mask. Yeah. And the oh, sideways. No, Brian says Brian says 12 is 60 hertz. So it's the, the sideways, hertz. um the sideways okay. face Brian. unlock coming and all. Look, like, look, this, look. I can get an iPhone 11 256 gig for 549 and on the on the refurbished on the Brian's refurbished. Saying, get the 12. Mike, yeah, it's I not, saw that too. It's not AMOLED. I know, I know. See, big big house you just got a battery get, case, so yeah, no wonder he's not having problems. Then you just got to get an Apple Watch, Mike, and you'll be almost complete. And, and Apple Watches are sweet, Mike. You plug that in, Mike, yeah. and you'll have your car play going. You'll forget all about Android. <laughs> now he's saying Android, 12 is that. I thought he said uh, oh, no, he's saying with the, 12 is 60 hertz, but it is AMOLED. That's the with the, um, what's it called? With the Android Auto with the real small icons, you can barely touch them. <laughs> that, that, that's that that's for another video. Well, it, Android <laughs> Auto, man. The Android Auto doesn't work from the phones anymore anyway, so you're good there. No, no Android Auto and it just in in general Android Auto, man. It's it's it it, it isn't it's the like best. The rest of it's the I, I I try to defend it, but it's just. <laughs> I've used, I've used there there is an article oh, from. Um, yeah, Mike there is. Said, a, there's an article. Mike said, uh, I tried I to use Google Assistant is better, or or I, I you know, no, I, not if you want it on your screen in the car, George. No, that's when plug you it plug in. in oh, I used when to you, plug it in. Yeah, when you plug in CarPlay, the icons are nice and big. Then they got the little mode if you use Google Maps where it can show you the map on the side and you can still navigate. Mm. Android Auto is a mess. There's like so yeah. much stuff. Weather, me, look, stocks. To 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 wait a minute. Too to, much stuff. To Will's news. point, here here's the other stupid thing that goes on. Plug in my Pixel, the little button on the side, you know, for to control, you know, to voice activate or hang up or or take a call in, does not work. There's certain things that just don't work using the Pixel. Plug in my Samsung phone, <laughs> works like Android <laughs> Auto should. Everything yeah. works. Yeah. Everything That's works exactly. properly. Yeah, and Mike, then it was the same thing when I had a Samsung. Same thing. And then, and then, and then here, this that's the other thing that drives me crazy. Where I plug in my Samsung phone, my Z, I'm with you, big I, right, and then everything works, and the screen goes dark. This still, it's, this thing is raging hot by Why the time, and I forget. All those problems, okay, I plug I this in. Problems. This thing works. It, it's like. Yeah, <laughs> we're not gonna find that article before we leave. Problems. Although I did go to work with two Android, different Samsung phones today. Android Auto is just it's, it's an experience. It's yeah, Big House says he uses Bluetooth in the car, kind of like I do too. Yeah, but when you want like the navigation and all that on the screen, and it's supposed to work, that's the thing. Bluetooth is there, but it does I'm, work. No, no it does but I'm work. saying. Android Auto or Apple CarPlay, like the point of it is you have your interface right in front of you to control yeah, all your stuff. So yeah, I think, I, use, I, think in, I used the maps once on the screen with, on Android Auto. When I used Android Auto, like they have like 15 icons on there. There's weather, there's an icon for stock, there's an I icon gotta agree, for games. I gotta agree there's, with Brian, Samsung is better. It's too much. Oh yeah, yeah. Samsung is better. The Pixel only thing they had was the camera. Why are you plugging stuff in? 
The only, because, because that's you, how you. Because if you don't plug it in, you can't get the. Uh, unless you got a, play. unless you got a brand new car with yeah, the wireless. Yeah, unless you have it built into your brand new car. That's true. I don't have a, I don't have a wireless car. Yeah, my, in my, my car. car's a 2017, so it's not brand new. Maybe next year, not this year. All right, guys, I gotta get going. All right. It was wonderful having the three musketeers again. Yeah, mm -hmm. where's Ted at? Now, I'm hoping you guys do this more often. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the show. I hope you especially enjoyed having Mike and Will back. You know, Mike, you I could swear as soon as you came on, I thought you were losing weight. I'm looking at your face. Your face looks thinner than when I was <laughs> your face looks thinner than when I was there. Well, I am trying. I am trying. I've okay. I, I seen a doc. I've been seeing a doctor. N nothing bad. I'm trying to take care of myself. So, okay. And there's been some, some, uh, a little bit of change in my diet. So, I'm trying. Okay. Mike, you want to go get a double cheeseburger? <laughs> uh, will you stop? Don't do that to him. You're terrible. You're terrible. Then we're going to plan right, fitness guys. and work it off. We can go get a salad. All right. Salad. This is there why go. I don't have to do all this stuff because I exercise five days a week and I'm in my 41st year, okay? <laughs> all right, guys, you have a wonderful night and have a very blessed weekend. And hopefully we'll see you next Friday and maybe even these two guys. Good night, all. All right. See yeah. you.